do 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 in the world of streaming how does copyright affect someone just humming a song or singing singing a song themselves? Because if you want to cover a song, you need to get a license to cover the song, right? You, like, you just can't... Like, Taylor Swift can't just decide to cover, you know, um, uh, something uh, by the Beastie Boys, you know? Uh, sabotage by the Beastie Boys. She would have to go and, like, pay for a license to cover it, right? But what if what if Taylor Swift was, like, on stream or something and she just kind of started singing uh, uh, Sabotage by the Beastie Boys to herself a little bit? Is that okay? Or is that just something that the, the courts haven't figured out yet? I guess you can, you just can't sell it. I get if you wanted to you could do a, a cover version of anything you just can't sell for anything but then that comes into ad revenue right can, are singers allowed to perform other people's songs at live venues without asking for permission you can actually get a force license you'll just not make any money EU law how are they preventing me from making money Our law is um is complicated. How are you doing this fine day? Um, I'm doing okay. I slept all right. Not great, but not horribly. When will the biggest Rabby Ribby streamer play Tevi, the most anticipated Metroidvania sequel of all time? Is that the new one from Rabby Ribby? I think I saw some people talking about that, and it actually looked pretty good. Uh, I don't know if it is good or not, but I would be willing to um, to play that uh, for money. Getting any Black Friday deals, Joe? No, I don't. I don't partake of the Black Friday. I think it's cringe. Corporate holidays are cringe. Merry Christmas, by the way. I just wonder, where are they finding these savings? You know what? The biggest cringe part about it isn't the fact that that um, companies selling a bunch of stuff. The biggest cringe is how people turn into herds of cows slash sheep for it and trample people and kill people in the stampede. Which I'm guessing doesn't happen that much anymore because I don't hear about it. But like, I, that's what I associate Black Friday with is people doing that shit. And uh, I think that's disgusting. And I just decided to never go to any of them because of that. online yeah maybe some online black friday deals we got some christmas presents for the kids maybe some of those were affected by black friday maybe i am an accidental black friday enjoyer i'm not sure anyway let's get a hollow on the screen they're well clothed and heavy let's go shame you're a strict rabby ribby guy let's let's go see Goodbye, Miss Bartender. I watched a video for yesterday, and that stuff with the robot sex worker was fucked, and you made the right call in rejecting it and not engaging on the subject. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's let's still not engage with it. Tevi, thank you for the support, though. Tevi, let's see. Oh, it looks a lot nicer than um than Rabby Ribby. It's fully out today. Not early access out, it's 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 you.
Oh, there's a blonde angel with green eyes. Oh, man. Oh, who's that? Oh, damn. That's that's on the... That's on the Steam page. Oh, damn. Are you hyped for the new Path of Exile leak reveal? No, not really. I don't have time to play it. Wrong headphones, by the way. You're right. One second. Well noticed on the Echo. We didn't hear anything actually. You just assumed that I got it wrong. Yeah, it's true. That's true. It's pretty true. It's pretty true. Goodbye, Miss Bartender. Why do you keep throwing headphone around, LL? Because I prefer to wear the other headset uh, for everything else. Because it's open, it's open eared, and it's a lot more comfortable than the other one I have to wear. Um, and it's also louder when I'm doing any audio editing or anything like that. Uh, it's just a better headset all around. But uh, unfortunately, I have to plug it into the audio interface uh, because it has a, has a whatever uh, connection, three millimeter jack or whatever. Um, and the other one's USB. Um, and when when it's plugged into the audio interface, it, it gives an echo with my microphone setup. There's probably just some setting or some driver conflict or something. I don't know what the hell it is that's, that's messing it up that I could fix if I knew anything about computers. Uh, I know a fair amount about computers. I know more about the average person, but the average person knows so little about computers that it still puts me way down on the tech tree for understanding computers compared to people who really actually understand computers. Um, so I just use the, I just switch over to a USB headset, my old one, uh, to get rid of the echo. What, you don't have a separate fat, fat headphone? Okay, you know what? We have to have a talk. All right, so someone, I won't say who, has done a compilation of the whole entire fat top uh, saga, all right, and put it on YouTube for your consideration style, all right? And during it, I saw a comment on it, and, it, and apparently they clipped out context or context was not provided for, for the whole, the, the sex bed mention and now there are people in in the comments section thinking that not only do i think you should have two phones which i don't think but that's how it comes across that also i, I think that you should have a second bed devoted just to for sexual escapades which is not true at all that was Baldur's take not mine I, in one bed that's it that's all you need fuck where you sleep it's fine that was not my take Use a towel. You don't even need to use a towel. All well, depending on what you're doing. But depending, on <laughs> depending on what you're doing, you might need a towel. What about a sex sleeping bag? You mean a condom? I mean, <laughs> um, I, how big are your sleeping bags, man? Like, if it's a, if it's a, if it's big enough, maybe. I don't know. Like, I think that a sex in a sleeping bag would be real uncomfortable. Wait, what was the context for the sex bed then? Hey, I, I said, all right, here's what we're doing, okay? I said, people people said that they that they jerk off mobily. They use their phone to to uh, partake of, of the prawn, all right? So I suggested, or I asked, are they using their old phones for that? Because, you know, most people have had several uh, series of phones in their life. And I was asking, okay, so when you get your new phone, like you, you get your iPhone 7. I don't know what they're up to, okay? I don't follow the iPhone. If you get your iPhone 7, does your iPhone 6 become the phone that you now use for pulling up the prawn, all right? That's that's what I, I was asking. Like, do you have a second phone for that? And then someone in chat compared that to the second sex bed comment. And I said, I'm not saying you should have a second phone. I'm just asking, do you have a second phone for it? Um, I'm not suggesting that you should have one and, that, and that's ideal. That That's where it came from. And then someone compared it to the sex bed. Hey, but that's not my take. What phone do I have? I don't know what phone I have. I've had it for a while now. It's a, it's a Samsung a Galaxy Note something. It was actually pretty expensive. I love my phone. 
Uh, if I go into settings, can I, can I, will it show me the make somewhere? About phone. It's a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. I don't know if that's still a good phone anymore, but I, I love my phone. I use it all the time. This is the first smartphone that I've ever had that I use that I've used regularly. Um, once I when I was a teenager, I had a I had a Nokia, and or is it Nokia? And um, texting back then was so expensive that it just didn't didn't pan out. Uh, when then when I was a little older, I had some sort of um, flip phone when I first went to university, but then. Uh, not getting into it, but I, I couldn't I couldn't um, ma maintain the contract for very long on that because it was something that happened with my mother. Um, so so I only had that for like a couple of months, maybe a month or two, I can't remember. And then at some point in the future, we I had a Windows phone briefly. I don't know why I had the Windows phone. Maybe Lily's been more into cell phones than me, so maybe that's why I, I just had a just a texter at work or something. Like I don't know. I had a Windows phone briefly, but I I didn't really use it for anything. Um, just for texting and that was it uh, and then I have this smartphone that I got a couple years back and that's the first time I've ever actually had a smartphone that I've engaged with or whatever um, so yeah I, I really like my phone I use, I use it for YouTube a lot um, I use it for Sudoku a lot uh, I text on it I don't usually use it I don't really use it for phone calls um, not my favorite feature on it though uh, is the camera like oh my god I, I love how I can just so easily take pictures of the kids take videos um, like just just it's so, and the photos are really good too. Um, I really, because I'm bad at photography, so I really, really like, um, really like it for that. But I'm, I'm probably just such a boomer when it comes to phones that I'm just describing smartphones in general, right? Like almost any phone I think would have these features and I would be happy with them, right? Joseph discovers model. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's it's I really I just really like how it's it's a really cool gadget, you know. So maybe the camera on it's really good. Um, it has a stylus. I like the stylus, but I don't really use it that much anymore. I used to use it all the time, but yeah. Remember having one of those Motorola Razor phones as a teen and within a week of getting it, I opened it by flipping it and I flipped too vigorously and went flying on my hand into a swimming pool. This happened when I was trying to flirt with someone and, and get their phone number. Did you get their phone number? I'm sorry for you. I think, uh, I think Lily had one of those uh, Razor phones. I thought you had an iPhone. You say, hey Siri, did I miss here? No, you don't miss here. I, I say that for a bit. <laughs> let me, t let me tell I, I say hey Siri and then I hit the microphone button on the on the Google thing after as I'm saying Siri and then it pops up and I start talking to it. <laughs> hey Siri, did I just own my chat? Wow, that, that took so long to go through. That took so long to go through. What the hell? It was expecting more. <laughs> Motherfucker activating Siri of every chat with speakers on. <laughs> Wait, does that work? Can... Alexa, play Never Gonna Give You Up. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's uh let's play the game. Oh I need to say I need to say thank you to uh to people. I think Siri recognizes whose voice it was. That's terrifying. Is it not? Thank you. I think it's supposed to be Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peasy for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to Capsidor. So far, making good on your pledge. Thank you, Purple Fairy 4 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Last Clown in the Car for the resub. Uh, Yuhiji, 
you Hiji for the one year resub. Welcome to the one year club. Clawfist. Thank you, Pedro11104 for the resub. Zorgrox for the bits. You're 98% Joe on Jadsea. Hmm. Have people figured out what all those mean yet or not? Uh, thank you, Zif Zix4 or Zyx4 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Zyx4. Thank you, Marvel Minky, for the resub. Dalmec for gifting a sub to C806256. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we have turned a corner. Thank you, Levac, for the resub. Zero volt, zero volt for the bits. I can't talk today, apparently. Humble Guard for the resub. Al Topo We, also for the resub. Sinopia, Canty Ash, Mazus, Kidion, 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 and you think I would have learned it by now. And Lemon Dread, also for the resubs. Thank you very much. Water on my screen today. Uh, I got, uh, I, I actually got mustard on my phone today a little bit. I cleaned it off though, it's fine. It's a regular occurrence for a lot of you, huh? I'm not gonna lie, I think the Hey Siri thing might be the best bit you've done after the car thing from the Witcher video. You, you didn't really know. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, only one new one today. Wait, hold on. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wait, I loaded the right one, right? Because I had to, I had to go through um, and uh, fast forward it. Yeah, that's like a minute after stream ended yesterday, right? This is the one we're on. Pretty sure, right? That's where I know the twang is the Samsung thing, and I kept thinking, oh, he loaded the MP3 on his phone. So you, you thought that you thought the twang was the was the fake part, not the hey Siri. Do I do I really come across as an iPhone bro to you? Really? I hate Apple. Like uh, the only thing I hate more than Apple are people who use Apple. <laughs> no. Um so anyone who makes some sort of product allegiance a part of their identity, you know how like um, people have like, I have a cast iron pan and that's my whole entire personality. Anyone who does that with Apple products is, is annoying, but Apple products themselves, like they look nice. Like I, I would, I wouldn't be averse to trying a, uh, an Apple product. I don't think I really want an iPhone though. I only realized on a rewatch that the cards were a joke. It was done pretty well, right? One of the rare moments that I will uh, I will uh, accept that I did something well in the video. <clears throat> They're fake. They're as real as my name. Wuggy did an amazing job with them, huh? All right, let us read. Uh, 66 American Kid Returns challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. I thought we read this one already. Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF, GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from fans. Challenger after challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kid surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected, and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title... I'm just picturing Yusuke just really big to the title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunderdome. This January, I'll become the champion GSF deserves. 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in the Kokoro Hall. The cream of the crop. New act proposes increased surveillance. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses, Quincy said during a parliament uh, meeting. Um, we have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. 
Kira Miki Encore concert announced. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kira Miki are in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City Silver Thunder Superdome. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. Can we click on this? Ticket Lord Idol Hell. Tickets are now, are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be quick and secure the best spots. You can get tickets from the following uh, retailers, already sold out. So is this just Jill dot 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 the whole time? Yeah, because um, her her ex-girlfriend is possibly uh, dead. Which kind of came out of nowhere, but you know what? Sometimes that news does come out of nowhere. Uh, didn't I, ha I need to buy something? Shit. If I go to the shop and then I go back, it'll tell me what to buy. Cutesy game poster she saw. Cutesy game poster. Cutesy game poster. I see a movie poster. Cute. Oh, it's right there. Cutesy game poster. Three hundred. Poster for some cutesy game about a pink-haired witch flying on a broom. All right. Was it that one? But you learn Polish, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Don't you mean anyone who does that with any brand is annoying? Yeah, didn't I say that? You seem like the type to use iPhone because it's because it seems easier. Is it easier? I've never I've never even held an iPhone. I don't know if it is easier. Are you a brand? I don't think so. Someone said, look at the phone. Did you mean my phone or this phone? I don't think there's anything, uh, is there anything else here to do, Chad? Because uh, uh, the way it was um, saved and loaded uh, yesterday uh, is making me worried that I missed something. But I think we went through it, right? I think we can continue. We're going to be finishing tomorrow, I think. We're going to be doing fan art tomorrow, the beginning of tomorrow's stream. And then we'll be gone until um, the Game Awards. And then we'll be gone again until our Game Awards at the end of December. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm currently learning Polish, and goddamn it is a hard language. I he I've heard that, yeah. I also went through it myself when I learned it for the video, yep. It's so hard, I've already forgotten how to speak it. Thank you, Chronotacular, for the resub. Thank you very much, Chronotacular. It's a fun name to, uh, to, uh, to say. Thank you, Avarisi, for the- Oh! Oh! Judas himself is here, gifting out some gift subs. Thank you, Avarisi. Thank you. Huh. Thank you, Average, uh, Cad Average, for the bits. Thank you very much. Hey Joe, I can't subscribe for security reasons. What? But somehow I can buy bits, so cheers. Where do you work? Are you on the International Space Station? Thank you, Kood Man, for gifting out a sub as well. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Arisi. Do you sell Geralt hair? No, I cut my hair a while ago. I still have hair. Apparently, we're just not playing the game today. Oh. Great job on the Golem video. I fell asleep during those, so don't remember the second half of that game at all. I didn't realize how many Moncton anecdotes I spoke about during Golem. I guess Golem was so boring that we just started talking about shit. It was a good compilation, I agree. Finish it tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for gifting a sub to Average Cad Average. Oh no, you broke through the security reasons! Uh oh. Uh oh. How often do you watch your own compilation videos? Uh, not, I don't think I've seen all of them, but sometimes I will watch them. Um, they're pretty useful to me when I'm going through making my own um, chapter breaks for streams that have to go on uh, my second channel, because occasionally I do that. Um, it reminds me of, um, of where some of the important things to chapter are. Also, I think I've said this before, uh, I've, I find streaming is very out of my comfort zone. I, I'm not... 
I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to give talks and go on, on stages and stuff like that. I don't like it. So talking to people, there's a lot of anxiety that, that is involved in streaming for me. Uh, once I get going, I'm fine. Uh, like I'm, I'm at, when it comes to streaming, I am usually at my most relaxed about it while I'm streaming. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I usually have some amount of anxiety right before I'm, I'm about to hit start stream, start recording on OBS when we're about to go. And I have more anxiety after we're done streaming than I do while the stream is going on. So I, I will fret a lot after the stream is done being like, oh, did I did I go too far with a bit? Did I say something wrong? Did I come across as, as, as a bad quality in this way or that way? Um, so uh, something that centers me is watching parts of the stream back and, and reassuring myself, oh, I sounded okay there. Or um, the really big one, which a lot of people probably don't care about is, did I spend too much time not talking in the stream? Uh, was there too much silence? Was it really boring toward the end? And going back through some of the streams and realizing, oh, I actually spoke like three times more than I thought I did. Um, and I was articulating my thoughts, you know, fairly well. Uh, can be very, very reassuring for getting through the anxiety, you know, between streams and everything. Um, but eh, yeah, you think by now I would have gotten over it, but now I just, just really out of my comfort zone. I'm not suited for this kind of work, I don't think. Thank you, Mana Shadows, for the gift sub as well. Thank you very much, Mana Shadows. Let us go, let's play the game. Go to work, go to work, go to work. This is perfectly normal. That's good. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure sh you sure you should have come, in come then? You're in all the right to stay at home. Got electric bill, I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So I will come here until I die, even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Got him. Yes, it is. Back. Who is that dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Uh, did you wash the glass with the autograph on it? Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all of that away to be here, so I, so here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all of that behind. This is why... Yeah, she's in a really bad place right now. See? You're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. I'm the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobes look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited, that's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as four might be, he's still just a cat. Whoa, then why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? So we have a cat and the cat, the cat was a stray. All right, all right, so I'm gonna say something. We might've, we might've like light, lightly, lightly abused the cat, all right? <laughs> Let me add context to that quickly. Cat was a stray, we got the cat and we decided that because she left she she lived so much of her life as a stray that she could just eat whatever she wanted okay <laughs> you're you're queen of the castle now okay you can just eat whatever you want all right as much food as you want you've earned it all right cat got fat all right the cat got fat so she was fat for a little while and then we decided to you know you know what maybe maybe it's not great for the cat to be to be so fat so we bought the cat much better food all right but she was fat for like at least a year maybe two okay so we so then we switched her over to much better food and she lost a lot of weight she's not fat anymore however now she can climb on the kitchen counters and go on the stove and go in the sink and 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 go on the like she could she's mobile again should we fatten her up again <laughs> i 
I missed the fat cat. <laughs> is this the Hitler cat? Yes, it's the Hitler cat. Yeah. <laughs> fat cat, no worries. Exactly. Exactly. What's the cat's name? Depends on who you ask. The official name of the cat is Evie. All right. I called the cat new cat because she was the new cat. Hitler cat? She has a... She, uh, do we have a picture of the cat? Is it on, is it on Discord? She has a, she has the, the Hitler stash. She's a white cat, but she has a, a little black patch above her nose, like Hitler's mustache. And she also has a black patch on the top of her head that looks like Hitler's part. That's, that's, oh, we didn't pick the cat, okay? It's not like we went to the, to the pet, the pound or store or whatever and said, give us the Hitlerously cat you have. All right, we didn't we didn't pick the cat. All right, Lily's parents fed the cat outside because they're monsters. They would feed stray cats, and the cats would breed and create more stray cats. And then they would take the kittens in, and then not take the parents in. And then the parents would just have to fend for themselves. Okay, so sh her parents did this shit a lot. And one of the times they did that, Lily intervened and said, "Fuck that! I'm taking the, I'm taking the mother in." So she took the mother cat in, and that's that's the cat that we have. Okay, so that that's. And, and it just so happens that she kind of looks like Hitler. So I called her new cat because she was the new cat. And then Lily was like, no, we have to give her a name. And then I said Eva for Eva because <laughs> she looks like Hitler. And then Lily said no. And I said, okay. And then she turned it into Evie. All right. So that's, that's what we, that's the cat's name is Evie. All right. And then you made the cat fat. Hey, I didn't make the cat fat. I just provided her the means to it fatten herself up. Okay. It's like, hey, you you were astray, you had a hard life out, out on the streets doing god knows what, turning tricks for nip, here you go, you can eat whatever you want now, food is, that food bowl's always full, and then she was always full, and then she was fat, okay? So then we, we decided, alright, you know what, maybe we went too far on this, maybe she she doesn't need to be that. We, we, we switched her food to a much higher quality food, she also eats dog food for some reason, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with her. I love this cat, by the way, she's such a cool cat. And, but now she's thin and svelte, and she's jumping on the kitchen counters again, and I don't like it. I want to see the cat. I don't think we have a, a picture of the cat ready to go. Maybe I can find a, a picture of the cat for tomorrow, okay? We posted a picture of her on, on, on Discord once. Maybe it was it was it in mod chat? All right, hold on. Discord Hitler cat. All right, this is this is an old this is an old photo, all right? Hold on. This should just work, right? If I drag it in. All right, there you go. There you go. Top left. That's our that's our hit look. There you go. We didn't choose the cat, all right? We didn't choose the cat. The cat chose us, all right? I love this cat. This is such a cool cat. She even got the st don't don't put that evil on her. What are you doing? Oh no.
Hi, Lily. Have you been listening? For like a minute. <laughs> I was like, I wonder how the stream's going. And so I tuned in and this is what I tuned in for. We fattened the cat up, didn't we? Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. She's on the table right that's now. Where, that's what I'm telling them, yeah. She's on the chair now. She's yeah. like sniffing. I, I'm telling them. There's nothing on the table that she would want. We, we, we lightly abused the cat, right? Yeah, but she's much better now. Yeah. But now she eats the dog food, so now I don't... She has her food down, and she's, like, petitioning on, like, Chloe's behalf. Like, the Chloe's food bowl is empty. Probably because she ate it. And then... She must have both at all times. Maybe so. we should just give her what she wants. What? Then she can't go on the counter anymore. She finds reason for anything, though. That's what I'm saying. She's trying to go on the table right now, and there's nothing. There's no food on the table. I don't know what she's trying to go on there for. It's like she doesn't believe it. Have you ever taste tested the cat food? I have not, no. This cat holds a grudge more than any other cat I've ever known. I know people are going to say that's just what cats do, but no, this cat holds a grudge. Let's say I find the cat doing something bad, like the cat is, is somewhere that she shouldn't be, uh, or the cat is, is on a chair that I want to sit on, and God forbid that I moved her from the chair so I could sit down. I, I won't see the cat for four months. It's just like, just no, fuck you then. And and she, like, we won't have any relationship until I go over and give her the first pet and be like, you know what? I will mend this bridge. Right? Was she always like that though? I don't know. Or did she become that way because of the name choice we gave her? <laughs> and it's just, it's just, she's just fucked up. You know what? Now. She, she was a lot nicer and we had much more when relationship when she was new cat, yeah, you know? Like, new yeah, cat. she and was, now, now that she's, yeah, she's Evie, I mean, she was, she's uh, just, no, fuck you. Like, she was my cat instantly. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that cat. I love that the cat. How can one cat hide from your own house in four months? I don't know, but somehow she finds a way. She's just, she finds hiding spots. She's really good at it. Even when she was fat, she could do it. What dry food do you give it? My cat only food feeds one time. I don't, what, what dry food do it's you origin. give it? It's origin? Yeah. yeah. That's also what the dog it's is the same eat. dog brand. Yeah. Maybe that's why she likes the dog food. Maybe yeah, maybe. Maybe. Food. That food's expensive. It's so expensive. Origin. Uh, O-R-I-J-I-N, right? That's the make? It might be E-N. Is it E-N? I think it's E-N, but it's yeah. a J, not a G. It lasts her a long time because there's only one cat, so it, it takes... Can you confirm that we didn't pick the cat? Oh, we didn't pick the cat. We didn't pick the cat. I felt bad for the cat. Yeah, all right. It's your fault we have the it's cat. It's my parents' fault we it, have the cat. A little bit. A little bit? All right. Oh, you Will know you what? give me that? I used to I'll, feed the I'll cat. I'll give it to you. Okay. They would put food out for the cat, and then the cat would come around, and the cat was pregnant all the time, and the cat was having babies, and the babies were actually dying, and my dad was burying them in the yard. Like, that's how bad what? it was. What? Yeah. Her litter was was not. You never well. told me I that. Told you, she was really sick. She was really like thin and like straggly looking and like really bad. And she kept having. And they wouldn't take her in. They yeah, took she one was of her super thin. In, and they it's, took her grandchild in. But yeah, they take her in. It's not like I took a normal cat and said, "Here you go, be as fat as you want." She was super thin. I was she just was like, sickly. you know, just eat whatever you and want. And I said to him, it was like November. It was around this time, like that year. And I said to him, I had just been to their house for a visit because I was talking to them then. And I saw the cat come into the door meowing for food. And I said, "This cat is not going to make it. Like this cat is really sick. Are you not going to take her in?" And they were like, "Well, we already have enough cats. So they already had two of their own cats plus the other two cats." Yeah, the babies. So, yeah. So they took the cute little babies in, but they weren't taking the mother or grandmother in. And then, so we, I said, okay, so we took her. And she is much better now. And she's lasted all these years since mm -hmm. then. So I feel like and she's know, the best we did cat. something good. But However, she is we a... We didn't want another cat and we weren't prepared to, we weren't going to get another cat. And we didn't choose the cat. It was just, that's just how it worked. She is a freeloader. She did jack shit about the mouse. That's true. She, did, she didn't do anything about the mouse. Nor the birds in the vent. Yeah. She didn't do anything. She's retired now. She's retired? Okay, that's true, yeah. That's true. She did her time. Yeah, she did her time, yeah. Yeah. She lets me, uh, she lets me do her nails. She's a very chill cat. She's just the chillest cat. She puts up with the kids. Yeah. And Mila likes her. And Mila likes to go and try to hug her, and she just, she tolerates it. Does she get along well with the other animals? Yeah, yeah. She's chill. All the animals get along. Uh, what are we doing again? Oh, we're playing a game. Does she recognize New Cat as her name? Yes. I called her New Cat for a long time. Every time Lily was like, the cat should have a proper name, I was like, okay, you think of it then. I'm calling her New Cat. <laughs> 
Hello, new cat. Meow. How's it going, new cat? Meow. I love that cat. That is, that is the only cat I've ever loved. I love that cat. Anyway, thank you, uh, Mr. Kurai, for the resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Equal Equines, for the resub also. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kurai and Equal Equine, Equines. Thank you, Schwein Kebab, also for the new sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. We had, we had a bit that we used to do. Um, I taught her how to meow uh, on cue. But I haven't done it in a long time. I tried to do it the other day because we, we repaired our relationship. Um, and she only did it a couple times and the kids thought it was really funny. Um, I will sing to the cat. If you're happy and you know it, let's hear a meow. And then she'll go meow. If you're happy and you know it, let's hear a meow. Meow. She'll, she'll do it. Um, we did that bit uh, for a lot. But then we didn't do it for a few years and now she's forgotten how to do it. Anyway, let's continue. What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. Sai, what do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Gillian. Pilskin? Pliskin? Pliskin? Who? Hey, Jill. So many references. What? I'll be in my office, but you need it. if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. Oh. Oh. Oh, you already put on music. Sai, this is going to be an interesting day. The Hall of Heroes keep shining, bringing with the sniff. Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh, hell no. We meet again, bartender. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it seem almost like a starry sky. Who knew? And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrity, Celebrities... Oh, looks weird. Are fishy, and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Aren't you going to do the weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in the need of medical help. Fine then, I want a sparkle star. Sparkle star. Okay, why is that like an octopus? Does he think octop octopus have uh, five legs? Is that what he thinks that? What kind of star is it? Eight-pointed star? Yeah, that's true, it could be. Alright. I wonder if you can actually figure out what he wanted, it's not that. See, was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry, spelling bartender. Are you having that, that, that time of the month or something? No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and on second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know, periods. You do? Yes, last month I finally got over my renaissance and moved to, to my enlightenment. <sighs> and here I was, thinking you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. Sigh. But if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice... Whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please, take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned, that actually sounded half sensible. What is this character? Is he just fucking with people, or is he just weird? Or both. And here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey, I am. Pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I would rather not tell figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... Uh, a bad touch? Bad touch, whatever. No laughing? Do, 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 do. It's such a good song, isn't it? Is it their best song? It's definitely the song everyone knows by uh, Bloodhound Gang. Mope is good too, I really like Mope. It's their most famous song, is it their best song? I don't really know all uh, many songs by Bloodhound Gang actually. 
I think maybe I know five or six songs. I sing the one about the porn star a lot. <laughs> Which I have to be careful about. The roof is on fire? Uh, people know roof, off, roof is on fire. I don't really like roof is on fire. Who the hell is Bloodhound Gang? Oh, it's a boomer band now, apparently. Oh shit, Chasey Lane. Yeah. Dear Chasey Lane. I wrote to explain I'm your biggest fan. I just wanted to ask, could I... Here. Right back as soon as you can. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe he's right. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only, if, if only I, I can't even remember what held me from apologizing all these years. Um, bartender, you're making lot, lots of faces there. Pride, fear, what kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to the situation? Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling helped me. Woes and woes. Is she okay? No, but just leave her for me for now. Hey, Jill. Hi, whore. Eh? Oh, thank God, a normal person. Wow, a mummy. No, no, I don't have kids. <laughs> still, still more normal than, than this twat. How are you feeling, Sai? People who say this, people who say this as twat is unbelievably annoying to me for some reason. I, I usually don't give a shit about how people pronounce words. I mispronounce words myself, but it's twat. It's not twat. Oh, I hate twat. Oh, so much. So much. The other one is, um, is, uh, saying herb instead of herb. Oh, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I think those are the two worst ones. Why would it be twat? I don't know, but people say twat. Twat and herb. You have to say herb, man, not herb. They do and it's weird? It really, it really is. It really is. Herb is how you pronounce it though? No, it has a fucking H in it! First letters can't be silent. I will hear no notes about this or examples of fucking 50 things that people can think of right now where the first letter's silent. No. No. First letters can't be silent. How are you feeling, s say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean, wounds don't leave me, leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. Wait, what? What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. Hehe, <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now, though. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. Alright, what does she actually want, chat? And you? Such, such a change in tone. I, I'm fine. I don't need anything. Let's make a beer. Beer. Do we want to give her a double? Nah, just a regular beer. You know what? We need money. You know what? I'm upset today. We're just all doubles all day. Give me base of the Titans on the ju ju jukebox or death. Isn't it on there? I thought we had it locked in there. Hold on. There you go. Here. Yay, let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. Ants? This one tastes less watered down. So, did something happen to you? I'm fine, nothing happened. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. Oh my god. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? Sorry, I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh. Sorry. Don't worry. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Um, no, I... Hmm. Maybe. Ugh. Are you alright? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding cheap. I'm at a loss as to what to do here, sorry. 
Want to hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh. Well, ladies, I'm leaving. Virgilio? Yeah? You were just sitting with a, with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. This will make a good entry in my poems block. <laughs> Best boy, man. So I feel bad about the way I treated him today, if not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella when she first came? Yes, no, I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Someone else said that too, didn't they? Ah, uh, well, it might be that he looks like like someone from an ad or something. Oh, is that Qu is he Quincy? Is Virgilio Quincy? And he's here like being someone um uh fucking like visiting bars and shit. That's the only other character I think that it could be, right? So what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? You know what? How he speaks in the articles doesn't match how he speaks here, but maybe that's a persona? Eh, it's probably not. To be with you, of course. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me real hard. It hurt. Whoa! She said, that's for making me worried, not, not listening to me, and then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you were dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Sigh, so someone to whom I said some mean thing uh, mean thing to passed away before I could ever see her again. Hmm. It's weird that I like this character a lot more when she's not wearing the robot suit. And it's not like she's wearing something scantily clad or anything either here, so it's not like, ooh, I appreciate that or anything, like, from stupid reason. I don't know, I just feel like she, she came across as really stuffy and formal with with the with the armor on, I guess? I don't know, she seems a lot more human, and, and uh, I, I can take her more seriously now or something. I don't know. Huh. You are anti-cop? I'm not really that anti-cop, though. I'm a, I, we do a little anti-cop. A little bit. I don't know. I I I, prefer, I can relate to her more when she's dressed like this, I guess. Does that work? Yeah, sorry. No, I can't do anything helps me calm down, but eh, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help. I just calm down. I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need, but I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. Thank God I learned that. Otherwise, I would have gone insane ages ago. You're a good person to say. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh yeah, that. Let's do that. Get me something cold, please. Alright. A cold drink. Let's give, say, something with ice. Okay, so she likes sweet drinks. She had a beer. What was this? Was there a sweet drink with ice? No. Uh, no. No. Moon Blast? Is there one that has cold as it is, as, as its description? As its description? Cold. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with Moon Blast. cold outside though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty actually, but they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? Nope. I needed something to do, uh, to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba, and I guess if you practice enough you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. 
I used to play the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? Uh, the violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. That, and almost burning my place up. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. Uh-oh, you do that. I'm gonna take my break. Tell Gil if he needs anything else. Sure. Speaking of inside baseball, what's that? Would you count Hi-Fi Rush's soundtrack as an OST, or does including the licensed tracks make it just an ST? Oh, um, that's an interesting question. For, for what? For discussing thing? Uh, you know what? I, I don't think it counts as an original uh, original soundtrack. No. It's just a... It's just basically um, a mixtape at that point, right? Or uh, a playlist of different songs. Yeah. I don't think it counts. I think it's just a soundtrack. Has an OST too? Yeah, it has, it has original versions of the songs. Uh, we used them when we um, when we played the game. Is a copyright shit. Stella and, and say make a bit make me a bit jealous. Okay, uh, I like the spread we have. Let's, we're not changing music for the rest of the time now. I don't think. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself. Make no mistake. Eh? But I guess I cool down a bit. Say helped a lot with that one though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? Doesn't Liza P have um, some songs that are from different media, or they could pull from something else? I remember someone in chat saying that. So maybe some of Liza P tracks aren't in OST either. Curious if for movies, soundtrack implies non-original music while score is made for the media, while in video games, soundtrack is just any type of music in a game? I don't know enough about music to, to comment on that, but if that is the case, that's, that's interesting, yeah. We need to unify our language more, and make sure people are saying herb instead of herb. We gotta do it. Let's spearhead the movement right now. Thank you! Did I say thank you to... to sh to Schwein Kebab? I think I did, I remember saying that. But just in case, uh, thank you again. Thank you to Drolian for the resub. Thank you Kono DDD Da for the resub as well. Cahill555, also for the resub. Five years, oh damn. You're right. Ooh, that's a lot. And it's five. And thank you Loner Archon, also for the resub. Thank you very much. Liza P sequel could actually be Lies of Q, and I would like it. D just going to the next letter, you mean? Or does the Q stand for something? It's got to be Lies of D, right? It's got to be. Or Lies of Q for Lies of Queen. Ooh, if you know, you know. Ooh. Lies of Joe. I believe she went outside to uh, to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've, I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Welcome. Ah, uh, hello Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, so I'm not, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask to say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the, with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway, and she's more fun to hang around with too. So I'm assuming that Gorilla Outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster, pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a, in a demolition derby. Okay, is it actually a gorilla? Because after the, the dog thing, uh, who knows what's going on. We offered him an implant surgery for all his, all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump, and yet he can still run faster than me with it. 
True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A Brantini, a big one. I'm in a good mood. All right, Brantini for Stella. All right, Brantini. Let's look it up, because I'm bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Uh, aged and mixed. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Which is why I come to this bar. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. I know what you mean when you say some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more, and that was it. Ahem, my father told me that. He told me, father, told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. Blushy crushy? So you two have known each other for most of your lives? I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. An, an, an item? What kind of item? An expensive item. A couple, say. Oh, a item. Yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same... You didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff, the kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning. Brrr. But around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. That That is weird, but yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey, Jill, what's this bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. On it. Two bloom nights for the girls. Bloom lights. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Oh, sh sugar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. On the rocks and mixed. What did I do? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, aged on the rocks and mixed. Oh, man. Holy crap. This is all of them. Here. I don't know, I kinda like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's yawn dimming the light? Zzz. Huh? I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in there, to be honest. I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nano machine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. How the fuck does that work? Oh, still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say was, is still paying for it. The disbanding of the white knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know? Among all of the people using the white knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think, in Valhalla. But you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say wounded asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. Sigh, how sad is that? Eh... I don't think that makes you a bad person. You you can't help what the intrusive thoughts go with. 
I don't think that, I don't think it's a good thing. I think it's it's maybe leaning toward bad. I think it's normal. It's fine. Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows? Maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while, cat girl. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come say, let's get hamburgers and let's get hamburgers and go home. Mumble, yeah. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim, welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up directions and end up in someone's house or something. Okay, this is the second time that she's been here, right? Lights of P records are, are remix tracks from DJ Max, a rhythm game from the same developer. That's all the ones with vocals, right? Or the ones on the jukebox? But the other ones that you that you have when you're fighting bosses or anything original? There must be some original music in it, right? Yeah? I thought the music was pretty good in Lizzie P. As is everything else. I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Uh, do we want to get her drunk? Now nah, we're good. On the rocks and blended. Here. Thanks. So how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep, I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why'd you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it, only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh, don't you have uh, any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts, even if you do what you want, you s you'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I, I, I even almost... What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel free free. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. Ahem. What about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do, and all that? Sigh, but I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something. Something big and bubbly. I don't know what has bubbles in it. Is there one that's bubbly? Bubbly. Oh, bubbly. Beer. Eh. I don't think she wants a bubbly beer. I think she wants something fun and bubbly. Yeah. Cobalt velvet. That's more fun. Is there something else that's, that's bubbly? Fringe Weaver. Hmm. Alright, what do we think, chat? Fringe Weaver or, or the other one? Fringe Weaver or, or Cobalt Velvet? Two sixty. This is two eighty. All right, here you go. You just ordered the most expensive drink. Here, if detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill things inside you. I gotta ask though, how did you end up working there? No deep reason, that's what, I, that's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. <laughs> to be honest, I got tired of the job and way through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. So I had too much pressure from my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have uh, troubles like those? Same story as you, I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped, stopped to think about what I was doing. Excuse me, and then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom, a little pause, to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Eh, uh, give me a, 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 or something. Something? 
Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. She asked for something, literally. So she has a dry mouth? So she probably doesn't want something with alcohol in it then, right? Uh, what's one that what's one that has no karma train? A bleeding Jane? Fedora? All right, I'll give her the fedora. All right, here you go. Here's the fedora. It's it's five hundred. It's a lot of money. Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you going to do? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Joe, she just lost her job. I have an 8,000 electric bill due soon and then rent right after that. I got to hustle too. It's not my fault. I'm not the asshole. My rent, my rules. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like. Work whatever I want. If she was on a budget, she would order the cheap drinks, not give me whatever you want, bartender. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than I was when I was out of high school. Yeah, that's true. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. Liquid encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. Bye, Jill. Thank you, Jill. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey. Ah, Dorothy, sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. For me? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What? What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. <laughs> you calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than, than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human or er, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Can I say no? No, I don't want to. Unsubscribe from, from the creepy? No, no thank you. No? Oh my god. Oh, it's over. Okay, good. <sighs> Jill wants to recover from what happened last night. Buy her all of the soap to prevent her from getting too distracted today. Mega Christmas tree. Okay, wh where's, where's the mega Christmas tree? It's so expensive! What? Oh well. It can't be helped. Who is that Lilim? A very good friend. Doubt? Oh, let's read them first before we, uh, before we, uh, save it. Uh, Monster Girlfriend Chiari? Happy, happy Chirari. Can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addictive uh, battle system, fun dating mini game. Uh, cute girls, that fucking music. Is this the goat? I thought there were monster girls. Don't know. Do you like the goat girl? <laughs> I'm going to marry a goat. It's an, it's an alright game. 8 out of 10 at most. Shit game. No, it's a shitty game for idiot waifu bots like you. I wish this waifu equals bad game meme would die. It's a stupid game pandering to idiots. What's there to discuss? Are we being raided by normies? M my normies, fuck off. Fun things are fun. You're not allowed to have fun with video games. Sounds fun. It's for nerds. Okay, is this a new one or no? Glitch, uh, Quincy studies the possibility of allowing imports. Glitch City is one of the few places on Earth that's strictly self-sufficient, with an import rate of only 0.8%. What? However, that might change due to the recent shortages across the city. Prime Minister Quincy revealed this morning that the government plans to have a more relaxed policy for imp importers. We won't lift the currency control, but we can provide them foreign currency at a low fixed rate. That way, we can secure essential items at affordable prices. Nah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Quincy told a. Some experts say that private companies are no longer working at full capacity, which is unsurprising news given that the Quincy government has seized most of them, resulting in the shortage crisis in the first place. 
You know what? Maybe it is. Is Kira Miki the biggest pop idol in history? Isn't she not even the biggest pop idol right now? The world at large is still coming to terms with the, the idea of the Lilin being so quickly integrated into our society. Some say they can't be treated as human because they're immortal and as such cannot really understand what it's like to be alive. But most of, of the Kira Miki fandom would disagree. Anti Lilin people are insane to me. Sorry, are insane. To me, Miki knows more about life than I do. What? And I'm older than this damn city. Richard Sho. 55 told the augmented eye during a fan gathering I'm with Richard added nacho six I may be a dog But I'm utterly fascinated with the way she writes about things in her blog She's impressed by everything and nobody really knows what what life's about anyway Lilim receiving mysterious messages. Halloween was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Reports say that Lilim across the city have been receiving strange transmissions with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, as most of the Lilim can't remember exactly what they had heard, but the most mysterious thing of all is perhaps the fact that the Lilim could not record any of these messages while they were broadcasted. It it's, was almost as if something had blocked the Lilim, Lilim from doing so. Seems legit? Well, we have nothing but anecdotal proof, even among our own Lilim, the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. Hmm. Hmm. Spooky. Spooky. Or a bluff. Oh, I didn't. I didn't read these ones. So he decided to not steal all the city's funds. Good. Nacho dog. Don't tell me. Uh oh. It's Nacho dog. Oh, we're running out of uh, saves to cycle. Okay. So we did everything right. We bought the mega Christmas tree. This was a little expensive. Let's go to work. Good evening. Also, thank you to damn good tea. I was drinking that tea for the resub. Missed missed the streams in a while. Do you still live in NPC ton? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I I feel like the Joe lives in Moncton, therefore his opinion can be disregarded. Meme is transcending meme status and becoming an actual legitimate argument some people are starting to use, which is very annoying. Very annoying. But thank you, damn good tea. Thank you very much. Good evening. Ah, hey, how are you feeling? Lilim are soft and warm. Come again? You heard me. So on a scale from steaming pile of shit to just sad, where are you? Hmm. A sad pile of shit. I still hate myself. I'm still sad as hell, but how to, how to put it? The noise stopped. I don't know if I explained myself. Well, that was fast. Sort of, kind of. So how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. I can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Hmm? I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you, and she was really concerned. She stuttered for a second, saying that she had the whole night to go, and she couldn't just leave for free. I asked her how much and she said, enough to pay for the soda I'm having is fine. How did you get her number? I have contacts. Ooh, right. Anyways, Jill, if you need a second break, a drink, or a hug, just let me know, you hear? Thanks. I make you the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs from you are the last thing you want. If you need a bartender, let me know, though. I'll have a drink, sure. Nice to know. Anyways, we have work to do. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> it's nice to hear that again. Did you say something? Did I? Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, it's you guys. Hey, be more respectful. I brought my boss here. Aren't you a part-timer here or something? My other boss. Wow. You're talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Oh, for fuck's sake. Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what I said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. Shit. So what brings you here today? I wanted to see the place my best soldier is working at. Soldier? Wait, aren't you the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you, Dana. Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? No, that's not Dana, that's just Jay. So I'm guessing you're part of this whole Sierra thing. Part of it? I founded it. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here, we can take... We can take in any dog without a place in this world. We created our own heaven on earth. And do you take corgis only? Do I look like one of those Seafar bitches? Of course not. 
I'd include other animals, but sadly I can only take care of those who are of the same species as I. The sad thing is, I'd take him more seriously, but it's a talking corgi with an eye patch. Will you get anything? I'm fine. What about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Did I stutter? Alright. A manly drink for the dog. Maybe I should just give him something bitter. Nope. He gets what he asks for. Nope. Is there something manly and bitter? Bitter, manly, strong. Got you know what? Nope. We need money. We need money. Manly. What's the most expensive one? 160? 160? 170? 140? Okay, I think probably probably a suplex. Bitter manly burning. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 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 All on the rocks and mixed. Enjoy. Here. Yes, this is just what I wanted. Rough. Look, this tastes worse than my own butt. Hey, you asked for it. Tastes pretty good then for how I know how dogs act. This is a really nice place, you you know? You picked a good place to work at, soldier. Thanks. Does he really get paid? Your efforts to keep Sierra afloat will not go to waste. We'll make her better and better. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can boss really afford that? We have more urgent matters at hand though, like the fact we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't they just share the ones we have? You fool, every dog has the right to have his own ball. Does a dog not have the right to the sweat of his own ball? If we can't provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Wait, don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck and is spending all of her money like what, like water. I mean, what, what with the bar closing and all that. But many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. That's a good point. What do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or a box of boxes? Are there boxes of boxes? Of course there are. How do you think they ship boxes? Tied together? Tied together? Don't be silly. Unless she's paying him straight from her pocket. Boss is that kind of woman. This world is filled with all sort of recursive madness, you know? Doctors consult doctors. Boxes come in boxes. Bottles come in bottles. Uh... Oh, as expected from you, boss. Wait, that theory only works assuming she's actually paying him with money. For all I know, she might be paying him with stakes. Well, and the stakes are free, are they? So tomorrow you're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes sir. Except that to boss, a good stake is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with foil? Russin Strauss had to be taken to the vet because he ate the foil a piece of cheese came in. Curses, you're right. We need a contingency plan. Besides, boss does not want to scam people, let alone a dog. I wonder if we can strike a deal with the vet those us safe air bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile is so cute too. So it's better that we, we vet for a vet? Yes, put that on the list. Ah, Nacho. Oh yeah, I forgot she knew the dog. Are you staying for a while? I was just passing by, I've got some errands to run. Great, Gil can go with you. I can? You will. I'll still get paid for today, right? That depends on Nacho's evaluation. Alright, Greenhorn, let's get going. Sigh. Paw Patrol on a roll! Oh, I'm paying him anyways, but the... By the way, just wanted to mess around with him. No, that's not the problem here. Why make him do that? Gil looked like he needed to take a good break, and he's the kind to just not accept such a thing. But with Nacho, he'd have something to do, and he'd be away from the bar for a bit. When you put it that way... Why don't we get sent on errands? Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Your boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her too. Yeah. So, you have you having anything? Actually, I'm just gonna go sit over there and be on standby. I wait orders like a good boy. Okay. Shit, I missed a chance to ask how or if he even gets paid with money. Man, I sure need to get wasted. I fail to see how getting wasted will make you feel better. Shiba! For fuck's sake, you piece of scrap. We just got out of, out of a building full of dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. And he talks. Sigh. Welcome to Valhalla. Hey Jill, hey Betty, give me a beer, will you? Gotcha, does Deal want anything? Okay, roll. Sir, yes sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer then. Friday after work isn't just a beer, isn't just a beer though, it's the beer. Can't argue with that. Beer for Betty, I can make it big for the heck of it. Oh, we always do that. Here, let's make it special. Yeah. Cheers. Hey Jill, do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem actually. 
I had this friend back in high school who made some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in contact with him if you're interested. No thanks. The last thing I need right now is more craft taking space. So how are th we just bought a Christmas tree for no reason. So how are things up at the, uh, how are things up at Dogtown? Well, that Laura girl is stirring things up for better or for worse. For worse, she's um like a rabbit, like literally an o overtly politically correct rabbit. Rabbit? Never had a pet rabbit. They're a nervous mess that gets startled over the littlest things. And this girl is on the constant lookout, scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. It's no problem in the company, but the other day we went out together and holy shit, poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. She's a nice girl, and it's sweet that she tries so hard not to offend anyone, but seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help either. Hmm? You randomly yell, what did you say, whenever she's within earshot distance. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just that she looks so cute when she's startled, like a rabbit. It raises up the question of whether she's really like that, or if you're the one making her wary of anything she says. Well, why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? To test if it's really me who makes her like that. That's a, that's a good plan, actually. It's not like you can say no, you know? I mean, it's my honor that's on the line here. I want to prove you're only talking shit about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. <laughs> Alright, she, she is um, not a nice person. <laughs> you take it, in, uh, take it in your stride, uh, but she actually gets startled, squirms, and then gets, uh, gets uncomfortable. Could you add your love is a drug and good for health and bad for education to play this next time? Uh, no, sorry. The best I can do is 12 base of titans. That's the best I can do. How is that any good? She's cute and her reactions are cute. But if you keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Shit, you're right. I must save my teasing for when the moment is just right then. No, that's not the problem. It is for me. And what are you doing here? What, what about the dog? He said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Say, this Laura girl, do you guys get along? I wouldn't know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. What kind of girl is she, aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing? Slow. She's the kind that does things so carefully that she does that she does them really, really slowly. Really, really slowly. I can't deny that... Like, like me making a drink? I can't deny that, she, that when she actually finishes stuff, she does a great job, but... It's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there then? Because she likes dogs. And that's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. That's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'd be fine with someone because, because you're both women. What? Okay, bad example. May I say something? By all means. If that Laura girl is really as bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't she be better off with a more, um, a more assertive person? Lilin, uh, a more assertive partner? Yo, piece of crap, she's totally calling you a pussy. She's right, though. <laughs> Sharing interests and being compatible are totally different things. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or for worse. Eh, who knows, maybe you'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility, too. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her getting together? Because she's like a cute rabbit, so someone might try to eat her out there. It'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight. So in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. Sigh, why not see if she likes you and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You make me sound like some skirt chaser. She's not into girls. How did you find out? I asked her directly. Of course you did. She seemed um, giddy afterwards, though. I heard her muttering something about meeting her first lesbian. It was weird. And then you, and then you shouted, what did you say? Okay, enough Laura for, for a night. That... Refrain from using any. That's what you said last night. Jokes or, vari or variations thereof, please. In in this world, how did it take so long? Party pooper. Let's get a drink then. Sounds good. I'll have a bloom light, please. Get me a fringe weaver. All right. Bloom light and fringe weaver. Bloom light, fringe weaver. Bloom light. One two three four. One two three four. One two. One two three four. One two. All aged on the rocks and mixed. All right, and the other one was a uh, fringe weaver. Ooh, double. 
Oh man. Oh man. Here you go. I wonder why it's called a bloom light. It seems it was first developed at some video games event. The creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. <laughs> said attendees were of course part of some big games company. It seems that company always used too much bloom lighting, so the bartender there literally made them a drink, drink them all the bloom. So it's not called that because it glows in the dark? Not this one, no. Come to think of it, did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? In more ways than one, I guess. Would you say for better or for worse? I guess for the better, I'm too thick-headed to develop any new bad habits. Although, thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. Uh, have you done that in the game yet? So you're one of those kinds of people. As for me, sometimes I think I became more, er, uh, what's the word? Cynical, jaded, bitter, tired of this crap, of the crap of this world and everyone in it throws on a daily basis? Hey, I'm just quoting you. Side, but yeah, I think I became all that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How is that bad? We'd all go and protest, we'd start all kinds of movements to see things changed. I really got into the whole thing, but whenever I wanted to get more serious, I found myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that not everyone was willing to go that far. I found out pretty fast that most of them were in the whole were in the whole thing because of some shitty fad, and not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were championing. Championing. So I moved from group to group only to find people who were in it because of, of a fad. Brit is all over the place, and when they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were they were they were of the dangerous extremist kind. Okay. My tolerance for people's shit was greatly diminished after all that. Classic centrist, all right. So it wasn't much. So it wasn't so much the person you had a relationship with, but rather other people. Um, you seriously never thought about it that way. Uh, you need to stop putting the blame uh, for what you do on past relationships. Whatever. Where's the other guy, by the way? He had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh yeah, the one that was here asked if you were the nice vet lady that works at the Seafair Toy Company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Oh, oh are you? Oh, okay, why didn't he do it then? Oh yeah, you did say you were a vet, aren't you? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay for the dogs isn't enough to keep up with the, with the mountain debt. The mounting debts. Uh, I don't know how you do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all. But this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing fuck all. Or at least I think we're paying him. I'm not completely certain we do. Will you get anything else? Well, we're fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic, and I won't stand to hear another had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. Fine. Let's go then. See you, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Man, you're such a party pooper. Every party needs a pooper, that's why we invited you. Party pooper, that's you. You'll be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if someone comes. Alright. Will you do prologue after main story? Probably not, no. I think I will reload the game at the end uh, to see what the conversation would have been like if we got the drinks right with, um, with Say, though. But I don't think I'm going to do the prologue. It's now safe to keep playing. Silk song footage on PC gaming show trailer. I'm I'm avoiding that. I'm on I'm on. I haven't even watched the footage they've released yet. The boys have. I haven't. I want to go in blind. Oh. If you had to date a robot, would you rather it be a perfect imitation of a human or visibly synthetic? Um. I don't know. What what's what's the heart of the question here? Would I find like visibly synthetic parts appealing? Um probably not actually. Is the robot sentient? Probably probably just a, a good replica. I'm not sure. I mean, if it's if if a robot is a perfect imitation and they have perfect sentience, at that point I'm not I'm not really dating a robot, am I? I'm just dating a person. Right? It's just a person. I don't know.
Eh, I don't know. Alright, let's keep going. No dogs in sight. Okay. What song are we putting on loop this time? What were what were the two that someone wanted me to do? Every day is night, digital drive, and re snowfall. Every day is night, digital drive. Digital drive. Re snow re snowfall is actually really good. I like that one too. Love is a is a grug. All right, and then we'll just we'll just loop these now. Oh, you know what? And then and then, all the rest are uh, omimotos, and let's just hope that we get we get there toward before the end. Okay, four songs before we start hearing Umimoto again. Here we go. Okay, then go, go back to work. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey there, Alma. Yes. I mean, she's so gross. Sigh. She seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer her up. Let's try to cheer Alma up. She might like classy drinks, but what she really likes... I don't remember what Alma likes! Fuck. She, doesn't she like Brantinis? It was Brantinis, right? I can't remember. Hey Siri, what drinks do Alma like in Valhalla game? For no reason at all, we're going with what I said before. We're going with a Brantini. And it's a double. It's a double, dog. Hey. Hmm, and this? It's on me, drink, so at least you- No, it's a double, it's on me! No, 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 no! So at least you change your expression. Why not just say you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? Heh. So, how is it? A Brantini, so you do pay attention to what I ask for. You have quite the fixation with Brantinis. To be honest, they suit you. Hey, wanna hear a silly story? Always. When I turned 21, my dad and I went to a bar to celebrate, just him and I. He told me to dress well enough that he looked like my sugar daddy. It was a fun night. We pretended at times we were dating. I managed to blow off some steam about my mom. Uh, but the highlight was him ordering a Brantini for me. I've had plenty of drinks and gotten wasted many times since I was 15, but that drink was different. It, was, it, it wasn't it was about getting drunk, the drink itself was the pleasure. He too, he too said they suited me somehow. Oh? Ever since that day, he's called me Brantini Girl from time to time. Your dad sounds like a cool guy. Does he? You should meet him sometime. I'll fuck your dad, Alma. I'll fuck your dad. So wh why are you deflating? Deflating? When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old, old tire if I kept it up. Alright, where's the comment about her tits being big enough that she could stand to deflate a little bit? Let's go. I know this game. I know the tone. So, what is it? What it, Was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, that is old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. Silly Alma, I've been feeling like utter shit the last couple days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so remember my sister Diana? The one that separated her from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way around or something? Perfect summary, I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story then. More specifically, that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. I mean, and I mean that. She never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh. So, what does this fully capable woman do a couple weeks later? Why, bring her abusive husband back, uh, of, of course. Oh, the husband was abusive. Oh, I thought she was abusing the husband and threw him out. Oh, okay. Alright. What? Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot steamy nights and then left. 
I, well, huh, you reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there, oh no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus, even though she'd probably be glad to sell her ass just to get money. And it, and it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. And being such sweet angels, they've made a mess out of the whole place. Bernardo and Eva... Cat are actually staying with me a couple days to give them some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. So, we're in the car and she asks how her kids are, and of course, after all the built-up tension, I just exploded. First, I started ranting about how her kids are growing up seeing some messed up stuff. I start scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. I tell her that she's in no place to have all those, those escapades. And after all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. <laughs> Alright, as a parent, I don't think there is, it's got, I, I, I'm hesitant to say number one, so let's say top three. That is in the top three things that parents do that are completely fucking insufferable, is just saying shit like, you don't know, you don't have kids. Sometimes, sometimes, it is applicable in some edge cases, okay? Some specific times, alright? Especially when it comes to, like, um... Uh, you know, when, when you're hearing people that don't have kids talk about how they don't have time to do anything, and you're like, yeah, okay. That, that's pretty much the only time. Every other time, parents can be fucking insufferable about this shit, man. Oh, it's so annoying. You don't know. You don't know. Oh. oh. Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have kids, but I'm not but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Eva and Bernardo and they've turned out pretty damn well. I don't have any kids, but I'm not a cheap whore. Oh. Holy shit. Ah. Damn. I don't know what to say. Wait, who's the cheap whore? There's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. But Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Any way I could help? You just did. Eh? I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell though and I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. I, I just needed to get all of this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I see, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. It's swollen as... There it is. There it is. It's swollen as fuck. Yep, there it is. Yep. Now, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. Oh, I'm feeling sleepy. Is ev Sorry. <laughs> is, is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I guess the only one that didn't get the, the big boobs gene was Eva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I can tell, uh, I tell her she's fine the way she is. These can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. And poor Bernardo, his breasts actually started growing when he was eight. I just hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the fa- Eight? Eight! Side of the family. My father and sister still look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had any problems with that. Oh, I see. Hey, you know what worries me the most about the whole Diana situation? How your nephews are turning out? If she leaves them with my mom, they'll turn out better than her, somehow. Actually, what worries me is, what if I end up like that too? How so? If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out shitty? What if I have a sudden burst where, where I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indication enough that you'll be fine. You think? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if I... Okay, yeah, I've probably said something like this in the past. Maybe... I don't know. I feel like that's overly simplifying complex people doing complex things. Like, yeah, as a general rule, I would agree with that. But eh, I wouldn't be comfortable just painting people with a broad brush like that. No, I don't know. Oh... Oh, thank you to Zyre for the resub. 
Zara91, thank you very much, Zara91. And thank you to Soupbird for the new sub as well. Welcome, Soupbird. It's Soot, Soot, right? Not Soup. Soupbird. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your irrational standards. Hey, am I lying? No, but there are things best kept as unspoken truths. Sai, I wonder if I'll ever have to find a good guy. You will. You'll know when the time comes. I sure hope so. For now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Hmm. Get me something with ice, but alcoholic, please. All right. Cold with alcohol. A Brantini. Want another Brantini? Cold? No, it doesn't have it. Um... Rocks and mixed. Bad touch? Ooh. Should we give her a bad touch? Bloom light. Let's go bad bad touch. I'm feeling the bad touch. Here you go. Thanks. I needed to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. So, you said you felt shitty the last couple days. Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on. You heard my problems. I want to help you too. Don't worry too much. Right. I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess at my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Hmm. To be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it if you want. It won't go to waste. Gotcha. Huh, say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like legs the most. Really? I like breasts better. Breast is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a, have a better texture. Maybe, but simple is usually... The best part of the chicken are the thighs. Thighs are the best part. I know this is not what the game is actually talking about, but I actually am talking about literally eating a chicken. Thighs are the best part. Absolutely 100%. Maybe, but simple is usually better. Breast is easier to enjoy than legs and a lot less messy. Mm-hmm. You silly girls. Boss? You were thinking there about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best parts are the wings. Boss, what's that? Spicy chicken wings. Where'd you get spicy chicken wing wings? From a, from a spicy chicken. You know, spicy chicken. The shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Why aren't, why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Well, because, eh? Thought as much. Yo, Armitage, Alma. I know what I said. Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up, but it be cooked otherwise. Great, I expect you here Sunday at 8 p.m. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back at, back to my office, working on my website. She left the bucket. Ooh, want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice, nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why she left them here. She usually orders stronger stuff. I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I want them to be decent enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. Oh my god, the standards! What the fuck are you doing? Whoa, whoa, hold on! What kind of unicorn are you looking for? That's no good. Do you like them buff? What about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like them well-dressed. Fuck, I'm out. If they go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my- Who irons their shirt?! Who, who's wasting their time? Hold on, is she like, like, well-dressed iron? Okay, that, that's, okay, that tracks, actually. If you're going out with, like, an actual dress shirt and, a, and a, like, proper suit, formal wear, whatever, it should be ironed. I agree there. But, like, a normal-ass t-shirt or whatever, you don't iron that shit. Some muscle is always fine, too, but sharply-dressed males catch my attention faster. Males! And yet you're still single. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. I see. So, can you get me a drink here? The spicy wings turn out to be spicy. What do I what do I get you? Anything, as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay. So we want something cooling. We want something with a lot of fat content, and actually that would that would work it. But something something cooling. Is there one that's cool? Cooling. Bubbly? No, bubbly's gonna make it worse. Bland. Spicy? More spicy? How could something be spicy and bland? Burning. K. 
Okay, I don't I don't fucking know. Tea? Give her the tea. It's spiced tea. Fuck, I don't know. I have no idea. Something with no something with no alcohol in it, right? Okay, definitely something cooling. All right, let's see. Let's see. So on this is on the rocks. It's sour, classy, vintage. Honestly, that's not a bad pick, right? Sour, classy, vintage. Not burning, not spicy. All right, and and it's and it's cooling. All right, so bad touch is on there. Nope, nope. On the rocks, spicy. No, it's spicy. Uh, sweet, girly, soft. All age. Nope. Um, sweet. Maybe something sweet. Was something sweet do it? Something sweet to take the spiciness away. Bubbly, on the rocks, now it's burning. Sour, manly, sobering. Maybe something sweet. Sour, soft? No, fluffy dream, it doesn't, sour, girly, soft. That doesn't have, um, more than me sleeping, cool, make a tongue feel, oh, velvety tongue maybe, fluffy dream? All right, I'm going with fluffy dream, unless I found something better. Um, on the rocks, on the rocks. Sour, classy, burning. Sweet girly, all, all on the rock. moon blast. Sweet girly happy, and it's on the rocks. What do we think? Man, fuck it. I'm going with uh, I'm going with fluffy dream. Oh, it doesn't have it doesn't have ice. Fuck it. I, I, who cares? Here you go. This might help. Phew, yep. Yeah, Yay! Thanks. Alright, so next question. What kind of girl do you like? Mm-hmm. You, you first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Yeah, sure, I have no qualms about saying a girl is cute or cool, but no, I prefer men in my bed. Now you. Shit, just calm down. Uh, I guess I like girls with light-colored hair. Light-colored hair? Y yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white, like your boss? You were just sent sending me up for that comment, weren't you? Sorry, it's just that when she got here with the bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Your whole behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all, all of a sudden. Hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. Sigh. So, light colored hair. What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too, and I start hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment. I would. <laughs> I wouldn't ever let you go. <laughs> okay then. Enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you were feeling shitty these last last days? Oh, what that? I told you not to think too much about it. And I told you I want to know. Come on, Jill. You've heard my problems so many times. Now I want to help you. Come on. Come here. Eh? I told you to sit here. Come on. Yeah. What? <gasps> what are you? All right then, now I'm the bartender and you're the client. Oh, we're Alma now! Hardly, the bartending uh, station only works with me. I see. Pretty cute uniform. Okay, whoa! Okay, then I move this here, click here, and now it works for you, for me, and the, that dog in a Hawaiian shirt. Why with him too? He's a dog in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Right, and how did you even manage to? Oh yeah, hacker, right. Now we've changed roles. You've been feeling shitty. Mind telling me why? It's a long story. I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. Okay then, it's something that goes back to my college years. Whoa, that's taking it way back. Back in compulsory education, I never made too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. And then, of course, when I got to college, st shit started getting hard. I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Burning my eyelashes studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades. After about half of the career, I... Half of the career? I met a student teacher. Her name was Lenore. You banged your student teacher? She helped me a lot with my studies, even... Even got me into stuff that gave me more credits. I really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me too. So you like women in authority. All right. Okay, you have a type. All right. We started going out and met all of her family even, and you want a drink? What? 
a drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes you offer a drink to the client. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. Sigh. A sugar rush then. You can't mess that up. No, we, we like beers. Give her a beer. Ask for a sugar rush. How did this thing work again? Doubles. Here. Thanks. How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. Hmm. I have this gut feeling that with your body, you'd make a better bartender than me. You're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know? People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. You've obviously never been to a, a cat bar, then. Besides, my boobs can be a hassle when trying to move around this kind of stuff. How big are they? What the fuck are you talking about? So keep telling the story. Sigh. Well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session, investigations, my thesis. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech and suddenly, while reading said speech, I almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking? I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. I didn't even enjoy doing all that, so I was just standing there and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. I realized I had only gone through the motions day after day from high school to graduating. I, I felt like whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all of my strength to not start running like a panicked mess. Hmm. Sigh. So a couple of months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lenore was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then, but I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did during that year and a half. What if I had a sudden realization like the one I had at graduation, but when I turned 40? I didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things devolved pretty quickly. She said one too many things. I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house and I broke a vase in the process. Whoa! Oh, that's too far. After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. I'm sorry. I, I suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling shitty about that after all this time, though? Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. Eh? The other day, Lenore's sister, Gabrielle, came to this bar. Apparently, Lenore died last week. Localized nano nanomachine rejection, a heart attack. Apparently, she had it in for a long time, but she had it for a long time and never told anyone. And coincidentally, it got worse after I left. And I just can't stop thinking about it, wondering if me being there would have made a difference. And if it's true, she had she had that for a long time. Why didn't she tell me when she was... She was sick when we were together. I don't know. I just feel like all kinds of failure. Jill. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Jill, there's no such thing as rejection, nanomachine, heart attack. Yes, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all, but she's just a kid for fuck's sake. She lost a sister and pretty much raised her on her own. And to top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride, fear, stupid effort to be the most awesome person I loved is a thing of the past. Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her forever, truly forever. I'm such a piece of shit. A selfish piece of shit. I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect the story to be to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Yes? Can you, you get me a big beer here? Coming right up. Two big beers. A big beer, big beer, big beer. What makes a beer big in this thing? You know what? Canonically, we wouldn't know. So we, we, we should just, like, just make a beer, right? Man, I wish I knew what the, uh, what the keys were for the other ones. Do you think Siri could tell me? All mixed. Need a big beer. Big beer for Jill. Thanks. I need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. Do you drink lots of beer? One of the perks of the BTC issued liver implant. What? Okay, is that I get to drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. Is this a joke? Oh. Hey Jill, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm, well, she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily. Stress was my default state. So, just like you're behaving right now. Shut up, I was worse. Can't picture that. Don't, it's embarrassing. Anyway, she was always there, finding a way to cool me down. 
she was also able to hold conversations about pretty much any topic. One time, I saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. Whoa! 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 Holy crap! All of that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She would always push me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Lenore would always pre present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. Sigh, man, I'm gonna miss her. After a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but she was such an awesome person. I just wanted to apologize. And now, and then across... <laughs> okay, I'm not... <laughs> All right, this is probably a sad story. She probably really is dead. But something about my bullshit detectors going off, and I was gonna make a joke that the dog is gonna rip off a mask and it's gonna be like, "Haha, it's me, Lenore. I knew the whole time." And that's... <laughs> now we can get back together. <laughs> it's just something about this isn't ringing true to me. I don't know why. Anyway, and now Sai, <laughs> you know, in a cruel twist of irony, she's the one who made me pick up bartending. Uh oh. Back when I was thinking what the hell to do in my life, I remembered a night we spent in a club. Uh, she started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, the chemistry involved, the reactions and all that. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember saying that saying that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. She said, if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Huh, interesting. Are you okay? For some value of okay, yeah. It's just, I wanted to thank you, Alma. Thank me? I guess I just needed someone to tell all of this to, and you were the one. You volunteered yourself. You insisted on listening to me. You stood there listening to the whole thing from the be from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person, but I'm not one to spout love and fluffiness, but um, I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client, but I really appreciate your friendship, or at the very least, your patronage. Thank you, client. Great classmate. I really enjoy working for you. Jill, are you dying? Shut up. I'm trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart here. Sorry, sorry. It's just... It's weird for you to get so sappy. Well, I just realized that the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. And it hurts like fucking hell, you know? I never, and I mean never, want to feel that way ever again. I don't want someone to suddenly exit my life and have and have my last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at any cost, and if it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. I love you, and... And if I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage I can, and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. Hate it. Hate it. Heh <laughs> That's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know? Fine. It's almost closing time anyway. Bartender Jill reporting for duty. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey. Yeah? I mean it, you know? Thanks for everything today. Silly Jill, you listen to my problems and I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'll be leaving now. Oh, before I forget, did you ever talk about all this with your with your parents? They know the basics, but I haven't told them about Lenore's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly. They're your parents. They live to share your problems. You should try having a talk like this with them sometime. They'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you on Sunday. Gal pals? Thank you. Take care. That Alma girl, sh Alma girl sure is nice. Ah, boss, did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk, at the very least. Your expression changed a lot already. It did? You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect an even brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh, yeah, boss, about those chicken wings. Fucking idiots and spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana, we won't, won't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. Is that how they treat their regulars? Mumble. Call the manager, mumble. Boss? What was the mistake? What mistake did we make? No, seriously, what was the mistake? What what was it today? Last Alma drink, I think? She said that she liked it. You're supposed to give her something sweet for the spicy wings, not soft? But she said it worked! Huh. Maybe she's just being nice. Well, that sucks.
Jill's power didn't get cut. This gives her peace of mind, and now she'll focus at work with no problems. Oh, great. How much How much is rent in six days? Rent is going to be more than electricity. We're fucked. There's no way we're making it. All right, you know what? Let's still go buy something, though. Bill paid. Didn't you have a boyfriend named Bill? No. Grand Slam Fighters. Is anyone into wrestling here? I became a huge fan of GSF very recently. It's a really solid product, IMO. Much better than the E. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave importance to the mid card. What? Are they still forcing 66 American Kid into the main event? Yep, he's going to face Yusuke at the Dome Show. Ugh, why don't they push the great DK instead? He's much more talented than 66 because American Kid actually moves merch unlike your indie darling. I want to marry Yusuke. <laughs> every every thread. Who's hyped for the women's championship? Uh, that one should be the main event, uh, not the turd we're getting instead. 66 is pretty good. Just watch some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 was better in Japan, but all I see is locks and arm bars nothing that impressive wrestling is fake yeah and amazing how i know all the words and yet i understand nothing Ooh, model warrior julianne returns this february is that a tear in your eye no no the classic magic girl show model warrior uh julianne is coming back to public television this february after almost two decades of absence even though the show has been on every on has been on every on-demand service for a while now. Most of the citizens, uh, city citizens need to think twice before subscribing to any non-essential service, especially the lower classes who have a limited number of internet purchases per year. All right, thank you, Owns. thank you. The, the show's return is certainly welcome. Today's parents will finally be able to share a piece of their childhood with the kids uh, without risking dinner or breakfast. That's great. Nano Machine Rejection has taken uh, 80 lives this year. The Health Observatory just released their annual report on nanomachine rejection cases. The total number of reported cases has risen to 80, an increase from the 65 cases reported last year. Nanomachine pollution was particularly strong this year due to the recent protests, wrote the observatory. Protests caused the police force to release new var varieties of nanomachines. Their function is still unclear, but according to our sources, they're intended for crowd control purposes. It's unlikely we'll find a cure in the near future, but and we can only hope cases like like these will become rare in the following years. I wonder if she's among those 80. Nah. Update. Oh, oh update to the uh, to the Lilim messages. Looks like we were able to record and transcribe one of the messages sent from one of the compromised signals. Joe Wren, the anchor from our popular TV newscast, served as our, our very own test subject for the investigation. White noise, who are you? Are you really alive? Laugh, laughs. You're special to me. You're everything to me. It's time to become one. White noise intensifies end of transmission. Developing. Spooky or a made-up story. It's made up for sure. This one was created by a writer. Okay, are we close to break? Oh, we're over break! Okay, good, because I need to pee. Alright, um, let's go to work. And then we'll have that music. Saturday, December 24th. It's almost Christmas. Alright, good evening. Alright, right back. Five minutes. Get a drink, walk around if you've been sitting.
All right, I'm back. With more coffee. What day is it, by the way? It's Thursday. Mila is upset about something. In the game, silly? It's uh, December 24th in the game. It's Christmas. It's mega Christmas Eve. Mega Christmas Eve, not Christmas Eve. Do, 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 do. Uh, thank you to I'm Derek for the resub. Thank you very much, I'm Derek. Or some say, mm, Derek. Uh, a Pepsi addict as well for the resub. And Joe serves a small drink before break. Prediction ended. Thank you very much. And thank you, the Bibsy, also for the resub. Thank you very much, uh, Bibsy. Who's winning the best girl bracket round one and two? It's between Dana and Stella? Stella, really? Or is this like voting for who's the least shit one? It's an overall bracket. Ah, hey Jill. How are you feeling? I won't say good, but not that bad, I guess. That's nice to hear. Where's Gil? Did he run away again? Nah, I have him on, an, on errand duty, buying the drinks for tomorrow. That sounds weird, coming from the owner of a bar. Every drink from here would come out of our own funds, so if we're gonna spend money, we might as well get more variety. Besides, those kind of walks are always good for Gil. You're the boss. Who's coming so far? Well, there's the three of us, the dogs. You invited Titty Hacker, Gil invited Jamie. Oh yeah, I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. Sounds good so far. Invite anyone else you feel like inviting, the more the merrier. Everybody, I could, but I bet everyone's made plans by this point. That's true. That's true. But I'm going to need three more guests until this party gets canceled. But I'll be in my office. Um, it's calling me Shanty Arise. Or else this party gets canceled. All right. All right, what do we want? All right, let's go quick. Quick, 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 quick. What music? Rad Sheba. I don't know that one. People really like Reese Snowfall. Glitch City's pretty good. Um... Synth Stitch. Base of the Titans for K. Your Love is a Drug. Synth Stitch. Every Day is Night. Night Call. Something Dream. Uh, a gaze that invited disaster. I don't think I have that one. Oh, I do? All every day is night. You know what? This is taking too long. Let's do that. That was at the beginning, wasn't it? Every day is night. There we go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Wait here, I'll check inside. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, a BTC bar. Excuse me, do you know where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does that place make people get lost so easily? They should have called it the Minotaur Center. Hold on, let me scribble the directions on paper. Thanks. Go to the right when you see a building filled with hobos. This should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help you with? Hmm, uh, what the hell? I'll have a drink. What about you? Um, a Brantini, please. Right. The girl asked for a Brantini. The little one freaks me out. Brantinis are very popular. Here you are. Thanks. That's an interesting outfit in this cold season, miss. 
Vela. Well, I'm actually cosplaying, so call me Vela for the time being. And your Lilin friend is... Ascentia. I get it, you're cosplaying too? Sure, let's go with that. Vela, have you heard of a game called Yeek Bartender? That cult classic game that has seen like, like three remastered versions made by six different companies this year? That one, we're in a cosplay group dedicated to it and we got lost on the way. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh yeah, a friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Shouldn't he answer? He'll be fine. Uh, wh what what bit what bit is this? S something amiss? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm, wearing jeans under a skirt. Now now, don't spook the bartender. Spook? Ahem. Anything else? I'll get a fluffy dream and be on my way. And you? I'm fine. Oh, this is free money. I thought Yeek was a uh, was a uh, not a beloved game. I guess the, the developer of Valhalla really really loves it. All age and mixed. All right, fluffy dream. Here. Yep, this is the thing. Seriously though, should you leave your friend outside like that? He'll be fine. He started chatting with one of the vending machines. They were talking about R&B music. Does your friend prefer the 1980s R&B or the 1970s? 1980s, I think. Oh shit. Boss, Diddy, r and I'm coming. Um, you see, Diddy is a 1970s purist. He has tased people for even liking 90s, 1980s r and before. He got tased. Sigh. Oh god. He'll be fine. Vending machines have very weak tasers. He'll be confused for a couple minutes, but that'll, that will be that. You should go check on him, though. Aw, oh, he's eking out. Alright, thanks again for the directions. Please come again. Alright, that was weird as fuck. Sigh. At least it wasn't Franco-Belgian comic opinions this time. Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm just overthinking it. More importantly, though, jeans under a skirt? Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey, Dorothy. Huh, okay. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, hi, honey. Are you okay? I just kind of wandered in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. Can Lilin just wander? Can I get you something? Oh, uh, a sugar rush. Yeah, that. Dorothy seems down. She asked for a sugar rush, but hasn't she told me about a drink that cheers her up? Um, nope. <laughs> nope, not at all. Yo, I don't remember. What was what was the what was the the drink that um that she liked? That's bait? It's not. Apparently Fedora. Here you go. Here. Thanks. Free money. She didn't notice it was the wrong drink. So much silence. By the way, thanks for staying with me the other day. It turns out I really needed that. So did you enjoy the soda? Oh, did you find that one out? Was it supposed to be a secret? No, but don't go around telling everyone about that. I did it because it was uh, you who needed my help, but a hug a hug night is usually one of my most expensive services. It is? Hey, I don't know if the client has body odor or something like that. Not to mention it limits the chances of getting an, any other client that night. Still, did it help? Yeah, it helped. We cooled down a lot. So from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? It sounds so awkward! You just hugged? You didn't even talk? Yeah. Do you want to know more about it? Do you want to tell me about it? I've, been, I've brought it up enough times already, I think. No problem then. You were sad, and that's all I needed to know. Sorry for the loss, though. I mean it. Thanks. Jaw Zero and it, Well, I'm sorry, chat. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that the game does this, but at the same time, I wasn't really prepared to remember everyone's drinks. And then by the time it was like, I realized that was something important to do, the, the moment had gone and, and passed. It does seem kind of annoying to have to reload and do that, though. Hmm. Although I've wondered for a while, do you, Lilim, really understand death? Sorta, of, kinda. 
Our whole database is constantly being backed up in the collective source. Joe, you make an awful bartender? I don't think so. I think the reason why I'm not remembering a lot is because I'm also simultaneously streaming to some people and talking and reading a lot of shit out loud. I don't know, I think I would do better doing real life bartending. Our whole database is constantly being backed up in the collective source. Even if our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personalities and memories intact. So our concept of mortality might be different. We do have a fear of death though. You do? We can't even begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. While we have built-in warnings, the mere idea of that and nothingness is paralyzing. There are a few that don't mind it, but we do fear death and we don't wish it on anyone. In fact, that was the same argument used for abolishing the whole three laws thing. You seem quite knowledgeable about robot, hi robot history. Seeing what others have done to make sure I can live like I do helps me not take things for granted. Isn't, wasn't bot a slur, but robot isn't? Okay. Seriously though, those laws were, were bullshit. Can't harm humans, can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting them. And you can protect yourself as long as it doesn't harm humans. I mean, sure, the first AIs were just helpers and tools, but how could those laws still apply to them after they achieve self-awareness? Who in their right mind would abide only by rules inscribed in some old book? If I remember correctly, those were the were only the distilled versions of the law some writer imagined over 100 years ago. They were a reduced version of all his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took them like they were the very laws of physics or something. And like many other things, people distilled and exaggerated what they need and, and used it to their favorite. No, the reason why it's so effective is because those three laws cover everything so elegantly and succinctly. It, was, it wasn't like, oh, we just love it so much for no good reason, because it's so poetic or whatever. No, it's, 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 it's clean. It's crisp. That's why. It's a banger. Wow, you're a nerd. Look who's talking. Let's change the subject a, a bit, though. Mood's getting gloomy. Your apartment is very comfy, you know. It's a tad small, though. Sorry about that. And your cat is so cute. What was his name again? Four. Why four? I figured if he ever got lost, at least I want to be able to yell for... Oh, it was a golf joke, okay? It happened once. You'd be surprised by how many golf players you run into. And every time you play with him, you can say it's foreplay. He 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 Yeah, he was also named after someone. Really? Who? A Lilim kid that wanted to transcend. What? A movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Do you want anything else? Hmm, let's go with a blue fairy. Alright. A blue fairy for Dorothy. Was that what, what I was supposed to make her before? A blue fairy? No, whoa, 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 whoa. Phew. Okay, hold on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right. Here. Why do they call it a blue fairy? Is it because of Pinocchio? I believe the name is based off of Abys off Absinthe, which some call the green fairy. The first versions of the drink were described as sweeter Absinthe. Sadly, they had to fix the formula because people were turning green. Not blue, a bluish green. You seem to have cheered up a bit there. Yeah, talking to you always helps me get my mind off things. Hey, there's something I've wondered for a while now. What? What kind of friends do you have? I mean, are they in your same line of work or friends aside from you? Thank you. Hmm. Well, there's Lawrence. That vending machine is a lot of fun to be with. Once you get past his quirkiness, that is. I've also met a lot of nice people working in the streets. From the top of my head, I can think about Nightingale, another Lilim. He shames himself to have fur and a more wolf-like face. He's also a pretty good pianist. He plays in a jazz band on the weekends. There's also Nadira, a drag queen, and the owner of a club I've been invited to a few times. She has an animal shelter on the side. I help her with it occasionally. Oh, there's also Sister Clementine, a nun from an orphanage. I go there sometimes and play with the kids. Whoa, that's something I didn't expect to hear. I also almost got adopted once. I was flattered, but it was weird. Oh, and it turns out I already knew your boss. Some years ago, she... She what? She what? I said too much client confidentiality and all that. Ooh, okay. Ahem. Well, enough tangents. Why were you gloomy in the first place? Gloomy? When you came in, I don't know if gloomy is the right word, but you were pretty quiet at the very least. And knowing how you normally are, it was pretty weird. Oh, don't worry about that. Just had one too many things going on in my mind. I wasn't gloomy or anything. More like distracted, really. Well, I think I'll go now. Thanks for lending me an ear, honey. My boss told you about the party tomorrow, right? Yep, I wouldn't dare miss that. 
Okay then. All right then. See you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks. And that's that. Boss, I'll be taking my break. All right. We're done. We're done. We're out of saves. We're out of saves. I need to remember to buy more cigars. Back, did I miss something? Unless you count the worst PPV main event fight I've seen all year, not really, no. Alright. Okay, that's back. Going out. I'll have a word with Gogo -Go outside. I was so hoped so hyped for that match. He must be devastated. Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh hi say. Good evening, Jill. How are you doing? The nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. I am. Um, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My war my wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit, though. Well, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands by myself today. Uh, but I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed that the big guy from last time is outside. Buster, Stella doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Just order a drink. You know the names. Do you want a Brantini? No. What the fuck do you think this is? By type. Call Just order a fucking drink. Here, have some rum on the rocks. Alright, what's cold? What's cold and expensive? 280? Alright, co cobalt velvet. Alright, anything else that's more expensive than that? I need to make rent. 320! On the rocks and mixed. Alright, piano woman. Expensive. Sweet promo happy. Alright, here we go. Piano woman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. Wait, hold on. Can I make the other one a double and get more money for it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have ice. Fuck. That's it. Piano man. Piano man's on the rocks. Okay, hold on. Okay. Is is it double? If I make this, do I'm going with this one. I'm going with cobalt velvet. I think this is this is more money if we can make it a double. Alright, on the rocks and mixed. There you go. Here. Yeah, this is the one. Why drink something cold when the weather outside is so cold too? It's not that cold actually. Oh, you're from Canada, but I've always had uh, decent tolerance for the cold. So I'm not a good reference. So Stella isn't with you today. She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that. Can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time, if there's a next time at all. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers in our honor. Yeah, I will then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? Oh, we fucked up. We, she, she's not coming to the party because we didn't get her that drink that time. They're really big. There's lots of food and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food, though. So at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever's left. She also buys toys for all the children of her staff members. Really? She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have even started calling her Auntie Ella. Heh. <laughs> Cell always does her best to put up a tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party, and she most likely celebrates it big. Interesting. She puts double ingredients in it. Do you like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I just stand there without anything to say. That, and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know? You're not? I'm a tad too ripped. They don't look cute on me. I think they would, although with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too um, breezy too, I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you look good in a dress, Jill. It's been years since I last wore one, I wouldn't know. 
Last time I wore one, I remember wearing my arms were too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She just stresses a lot about her bust size. Really? She's not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although I guess comparisons are useless here. They rarely help with complexes. Well, she does go to the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I mean, I've seen her before and after she tucks them away, but I guess I never cared enough to ask the specifics. That's also why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, um, drills. They look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems affluent enough, why not go through a reduction, reduction surgery? Because she also kind of likes having that size. Oh my god, she takes her bust size after her mom, and Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. Puffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show- Where's the ass talk? What, what, we need some equality up here. Where's the talking about people's butts? No representation. She says something along those lines a lot. Stella has quite the admiration for her mom, so I, so I guess a breast reduction would feel like betraying her? Yes. Huh. I'm making it sound like she's hiding J-cups or something like that. She is. I guess uh, in, a, in, a, in a taller or thicker person, her size would be normal. She's a bit shorter and thinner than the norm. Do you get self-conscious about your bust size, Jill? Not really. I've been more self-conscious about my height. Although it usually comes up whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no? It's not my bust size, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. And I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help with that. You're fine. Don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Mm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? I do, give me a sec. Something non-alcoholic for, for, for say. Uh, spiced tea? Do you want some spiced tea? Right? Yeah, spiced tea, right? Yeah, spiced tea. Do you have some spiced tea? Here you go. Thanks. Um, you sure this is an alcoholic? Y yeah. Is it not? Is the spice alcohol? It might be expired then. Uh-oh! Seems safe enough. Not gonna make it go to waste. You don't like things going to waste? That's something that stuck with me, thanks to Stella, actually. She's not a cheapskate by any means, but she's a bit obsessive about making sure things don't go to waste. No food goes in the trash bin. She always gives it to her pets or makes fertilizer out of it uh, if no one else is gonna eat it. Even and french fry. It can be annoying when you try to peel a vegetable or fruit near her. At best, she scolds you for not doing it right. At worst, she rambles about the nutrients in the skin that ma and makes you cook it without peeling it. So anytime I see something that might go to waste, I can just hear Stella scolding me for it. Huh, you think it'd be the opposite. I can't speak for any rich, any other rich people, but Stella's family has uh, been really down to earth. What do you think makes my card lemonade hard? The can! The can is hard! It's hard because it comes in a hard can instead of a nice squeezy bottle. Okay, yeah, obviously Mike's hard lemonade has vodka in it, doesn't it? There's no fucking, um, what's the spice in the tea? It's just spiced tea. It's spicy tea. They do indulge in expensive things from time to time, but otherwise they're pretty simple people. You were right about the school Elysium. The chat is always wrong. Thank you. Thank you. There are dozens of us. Dozens. Thank you. Also, thank you to Solid Divinium, Divinium for the resub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Really Talk Sick, for the resub as well. What's up? What alcohol comes in a squeeze bottle? Uh, the ones over here that we're, we're mixing the drinks. No, the le le lemonade usually comes in like a plastic bottle that you can squeeze a little bit, not hard like a can. All right, sorry, I just finished my coffee. <clears throat> Maybe that's the reason I've been friends with her all this time. I doubt I would be able to, would have been able to otherwise. Oh, so tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy. It'll just be me, Boss, Gil, and a couple of regulars, and a chicken. They'll bring food. We'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If only you got my drink order right a couple of days ago, I would have become to this instead. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know. You hear? Sure. Hey, say? Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? I'm going to check one last errand before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now with the White Knights disbanded and all? To be honest, I don't know. 
I never prepared a plan B because I figured if you can go with a plan B, why not just make it plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as, as thrilling. And I'm tired of blatant corruption, sick of it. Oh, but I'm alive. Hmm? I learned something after that hell in the Apollo Trust. Life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. And we never saw her again. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Ah, uh, hey there, girl. Hey, girl. Give me a strong drink, won't you? All right. Strong drink. Something strong for Mr. Detective. Perhaps something manly? A manly strong drink. All right. Does it say strong on it? Strong. Manly strong drink. Uh, suplex? Suplex is strong. It's not. I'm completely wrong. Mars Blast. Mars Blast for sure. Here we go. Blast Mars. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one. And one, two, three, four. And then one, two. All blended. All right. This is. We can't make this one big, though. God damn it. We can't make it big. Spice tea. Apparently, spice tea is super strong. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, did I fuck this up? Six. One, four, two. No, we're good. Here you go. Yes, this will do. Are people, it seems like there's an ongoing conversation about, about uh, the boob talk. Um, I think that it's not a bad conversation. It just seems to be happening over and over and over again. I don't know. I don't know if I like the tone of the game. Something about it just isn't ringing true to me. I don't know. Anything with 10 or more ingredients is already big for, for your information. But if you make it big, don't, doesn't it cost more? You get more money for it? And I can't make it big, therefore I, I the price is already built in, right? Yeah, it's only funny when, when Date constantly makes pervy comments. I mean, Date also doesn't have a sad backstory about his uh, girlfriend that he walked out on dying of a heart attack and then it's he sad about it for three days straight and it's all emotional and talking about shit. You know, like, the, the, you, you can't have them both ways, you know what I mean? Like, it's the tone. Sometimes it works, but there's a lot of it. Like, AI is a comedy, first and foremost. This is not. This is a comedy though? I don't think this is a comedy. I think this is a drama. It has some comedic elements. I think this is a drama before comedy. So what brought you here? I never saw there's a contradiction. A story can be horny and sincere. Yeah, of course it can. I'm, I'm sorry, did I say otherwise? If I did, then I, then I misspoke. You can mix uh, different things together. It's just I don't think it's being mixed very well, or one one flavor is overpowering the other. He said, eyeing the drink ingredients. What about? Make, what about it makes you feel it is a mix well or a bit or one bit is overpowering? It just it, it's coming across as insincere. I'm trying to think if if there's a a diplomatic way I can say this instead of incendiary, and I and I'm not coming up with it. Okay, how about this one? Um, 
Are you familiar with the, uh, of course you are. Yeah, most of you are familiar with the term, um, uh, the male gaze, right? Uh, G-A-Z-E, the male gaze in media. So the writing here, the characters, it, it feels like they are a bunch of women talking about um, sex and body types, but it's still coming from an area of predominantly being f to for the male gaze, that sort of thing. Um, that, that's the diplomatic way I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I, I can say it. Um, the incendiary way of saying it would be that it, it just feels like like. No, I, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. No, I know. I, sorry, I, I know that's frustrating to not say it. I'm not saying it. Um, I... <sighs> not in every scene and not in every conversation, but a lot of it is coming across like that and it's coming across as insincere to me. meant if a woman wrote the exact same thing it wouldn't be noticeable well first of all i don't know if it was written by a man or a woman i have no idea that's not the point a, a woman can still write for the male gaze you don't have to be a man to write to satisfy the the, the male I, I, male gaze is sounding like something else as i'm saying it maybe we can have a different a different term for it um you don't have to you don't have to be a man for that um And secondly, uh, was there a woman writer on this? A woman, a woman can write shitty female POV too, though. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not about who wrote it; it's how it was written. I don't really believe in the male gaze. It's a very de divisive and dated idea. Really? It's not as common now as it was before, but it is absolutely a real phenomenon. Absolutely. Like, like you would be hard pressed to dispute it. I, I would be very interested in, in hearing an argument and, and that would be persuasive in disputing it for sure, but, um, I think that would be very difficult. Male gaze is such a meme way to talk about media. How would you prefer to talk about it in a public forum, like on stream with a thousand people talking at once? Well, a couple hundred, not a thousand. Not everyone here is, is, is talking. When you're in a when you're in a group chat like this and you're talking about media in general, you have to use more general terms. That's a part of the conversation. So you, you have to navigate through a conversation using these sorts of references and um, like things that are below an umbrella in order to be able to communicate. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to talk properly. If you're talking about something very specific in, in a very small environment, then okay, then you can get into things that are that are more uh, nuanced and um, uh, delineate, delineated. I don't know what the word would be. Maybe it's that. Maybe that word's fine. But I don't know. I don't, I'm like, what what's your alternative that you're proposing? It's a very charged term in general. It simplifies sexualization or sexuality into this was made by men for men. It comes with an accusatory tone. Yeah, but that's true. <laughs> that, that happens. That's a problem. Like it doesn't happen as much anymore, but that, that's literally what happens. Like, <laughs> that's, 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 the, that's what it means. That's the point. <laughs> 
You understand the term, congratulations! Yeah, like, that. that's it, yeah. wrong i think people can take it too far and they can dismiss things if, if they think it ticks some boxes that's a problem too d d i'm not like fully committed to like oh I, I can easily just look at something and it doesn't pass that fucking what was it called the the, the beckle test or whatever the fuck it's called therefore it's shit like i'm not i'm not arguing from the other side either you know i'm in the, i'm in the middle as always you know fucking centrism all the way you know me centrist for life but like at the same time it, that is a phenomenon that's real and it is it is, um, a problem. Yeah. Why? Because more than half the population doesn't have the male gaze. And sometimes it can come across as kind of ick and exploitative. See, now we're getting into, like, a, a pretty heavy conversation. And sometimes is the key word there, man. Okay, are we... Okay, are you cannot... You cannot possibly be arguing with good faith if you don't understand the problem of media being predominantly male gaze and that just being rooted and um, needs to be disrupted a little bit in order for there to be more diversity in media. And not diversity in the charged way, it's usually said. Like, you, you cannot be arguing good faith, I'm sorry. I just I just cannot believe that you're arguing good faith right now. May, are you, are you, have things gotten so much better in the last 10 years or so that someone who is super young doesn't see it and maybe I'm just old and busted or something? I don't think so, but I will admit I am kind of behind on on more contemporary movies and TV shows, so maybe it has gotten better. I'm more than willing to admit I could be wrong here, but like, there's, there's no fucking way if you are above the age, I don't know, 28, that you could be arguing this in good faith. There's no fucking way. What I was trying to say is that the male gaze is just a way to turn marketed to men into something accusatory. I know what the term means, obviously. I was just trying to say that I think it's not a very useful term for that reason. You will never convince someone who doesn't always agree with you with a phrase like that. Is it that charge of a term? I don't think it's that charge of a term. Although some people reacting the way they're in chat, maybe, maybe you're right. Again, to be clear, I don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with that kind of media that appeals to the male gaze. The problem is the amount that it is and that it can be taken to pretty extreme lengths actually because it's so common, you know? The more common something is, the more uh, strange, extreme it has to get. Sorry to use the same word again in order to, to stand out, you know what I mean? Um, so. But there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it. I feel like I'm losing the conversation a bit right now. Can someone tell me how this conversation started? I only joined 10 minutes ago. We're, I'm criticizing the game a little bit, yeah. It's some of the sexual conversations that are happening in the game are coming across as insincere to me, and I wanted to articulate why. 
Don't necessarily think I'm right, by the way. Just, uh, like, or objectively right, as always. Sorry to have to say these, these statements, but, you know, they're important for some people. If someone has a mostly male user base, it will mostly cater to their taste. That seems natural to me. I don't like slapping a label on that. Okay. <sighs> Why do you think they have a mostly male user base, though? And don't you think that's just a problem that is just propagating itself out forever? That's that's the whole problem. That's the whole... That's the, Oh, my God. Oh, All right, let's move on. Let's move on. So what brought you here? Nothing special. I was working on a case, and I happened to be in the area. What kind of work? Tracking someone. A gun for hire. What about the girl, Crimson something? I am tracking that girl. Didn't you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money and well, I just couldn't refuse again. Well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder though, there has to be, has to be more to that whole thing than just acting uh, as middleman to look for some murderer. Just acting as middleman? Is that right? Hmm. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws and the walls are soundproof, and I really couldn't give less of a shit about selling info to anyone. What, is Streamer Chan here again? Okay then, wait, soundproof walls? Why? Did you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative, the bastards. I, it'd be annoying without those walls. Alright then. Have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? Nope. He's some big name from... Kanye... Kanye Vania? His blood apparent- is that a real place? I've never heard of Kanye Vania. His blood apparently has some weird reaction to Glitch City's nano machines. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. Uh, but it, if still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nano machines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. They're using him as a guinea pig to see what causes that reaction and if it could be used to fight nano machine rejection. Uh huh. Well, it turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here and hasn't. And he hasn't seen her ever since. You could be lying, you know. Doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. How do you know? D why didn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract and tracking all the messages to the source, excuse me, would have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. What about a cobalt velvet? Those are expensive. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so 280, if I make it a double, do we get more money? One, two, three, one, two, three. I think it was like higher tips or something, wasn't it? So this is our total sales. So it should be 31 uh 160, right? 31,160. Unless uh NA math. On the rocks and mixed. Alright, so it wasn't worth more. Is it do I get more tips or something or what? Or did I not make it double? I'm not sure. Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. Were you expecting me to mess up so you didn't have to pay? No. So what made you accept the contract anyway, keeping in mind all the risks you have told me last time? He told me he wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least deliver her a message. He could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Even then, I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know it's not like... It's not like being able to find your daughter. Uh, what it's like to be apart from her, not knowing what she's doing, or, or even she's alright. Okay, so in my head right now, I'm thinking of the thread on, on the subreddit saying that I hate games. So I want to push back a little bit against myself now. Having said the criticism I just said, I also think that there is some good writing in this game. There have been some good conversations. Um, there have been some cool links back for, for, for uh, like, stuff that's that's brought up before and relevant later. Um, I think it has been a little bit too coincidental with things that are on the news or everything, and somehow, and suddenly they're in the bar the next day, that sort of thing. It feels like the world, the world feels very small to me right now, even though we're looking at news and stuff, and I would say that's a little bit of criticism. But apart from that, I, I do like those links. I, I like the, the vibes and the feeling of the game. Um, and even though some of that stuff I just said is insincere and comes across as a little eh to me, um, uh, most of it isn't that, and there has been some good writing and some good conversations and a good flow to the back and forth of the topics between the different characters. And I really like the, um, uh, I like 
I spoke about in Witcher 1 and Witcher 2 video about how Witcher 1 has this kind of ongoing thing where you will you will you get to know a character in different situations and different chapters as time progresses and Witcher 2 also has um everyone is the main story of their own story and you're just kind of in orbit around them and you're just kind of in the middle and seeing it all and this game has those two qualities you know you're seeing updated updated versions of the story as you go from day to day uh because the because the time marches forward and the second one is that everyone does really seem to have their own lives going on and we just see little snippets of it when they come into the bar um and I do like that I, I think it's good um so uh yeah it's uh, d please do not think that because of what i said earlier that i, I hate the game's writing or i think it's always timing like that i still think it has some good things in it uh what's like to be apart from her not knowing if she's doing uh what she's doing or even if she's all right uh you do i have a daughter she's about your age when she was a teen we had a big fight and she ran away from home at first i just waited for her to show up but then i started getting worried and went out to find her I couldn't find any trace of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon I was worried something might have ha I was worried some if something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and listed contacts began to grow. Looking for your daughter? I finally found her, taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I just couldn't say no to his request of, of finding his daughter. But I don't expect you to understand. So, how's the search going? I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to her from before, the... You're good at your job? You came in and said, hey, you know anything? Are you sure? No? Here's $80. Really? I, I thought this guy was a joke. He still was until right now. Really? Okay, compared to her from before, the bank incident, though, she seems slower somehow. Uh, either she's let her guard down or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. I don't know what it says, and I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I might not look it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I better go back to work before her trail goes cold. My curfew approaches. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then. I want you here tomorrow at 8pm. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dress in your absolute best. Well, we're having a party after all. Alright. Where's Gil, by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on, wait a bit, and I'll go with you. Oh, sure, thanks. All right, I don't think we got. Yeah, we made a mistake. Yeah, with the uh, with the spice tea, right? God damn it! God damn it! Oh. How much is rent? Okay, I'm scared that it's not telling me how much rent is. Rent is so high that we're not even fucking thinking about it. Merry, merry, mega Christmas. Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as a <laughs> mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds. What? <laughs> Happy holidays. What? All right. Uh, thank you, Loner Archon, uh, for the ten gift subs. Thank you very much, Loner Archon. Thank you, thank you. All right. So a party then? I'll bring you leftovers. I don't think we have to. Uh, we have to buy anything today. Mega Christmas is here. I'm way too used to Christmas, but the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. I know it's an incredibly absurd name, and the holiday isn't less any crazy due to its origin, but I find it amazing how GC managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken, but here they outright change the holiday. Well, it's not that different, uh, considering they have the same dates, and but still pretty cool. Whoop, I gotta go. Time to sign some books. Isn't eating fried chicken on Christmas a, um... Uh, is it China or Japan? It's Japan, isn't it? Does, isn't Japan known for, uh, uh, oh no, I don't know. Is it KFC or something? They, they, they eat fried chicken or something in Japan? Um, maybe it's not a huge deal, but it's a big enough deal I remember reading an article about it. Don't ask Shad about something Japan related. Someone is saying it's a myth. Maybe it's a myth. Maybe just maybe it's um uh, a phenomenon that happens in like one city or somewhere. I don't know. It's huge. They take take reservations since November. Is it really that big? Hmm. Okay. All right. A E. Hey chat, new tech just arrived in the chat. If if Joe ever brings up anything at all about the world, you can just say that's just a myth, and you will just completely and utterly derail the whole entire conversation. There will be at least half the people, including maybe the streamer himself, will be like, wait, hold on, maybe it is a myth. This chatter seems to know what they're talking about. Yoru Yoru is the best show this season. 
If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to join the, the Mo Church this season with the premiere of Yoru Yoru, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The pals at the popular Danger U forum seem to be divided, however. This is such an obvious pandering. Remember when anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. Smiley face with a nose. I'm going to marry Sheena Su- <laughs> Wake me up inside. You can catch- Catch YY every Friday at on RSTV. Want to watch this? Want to watch it? Anime is for nerds. So you want to watch it? Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? The ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. The King of the West, Kanji, from the western nation of Kanyevania, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like the hottest girls around. But is this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator problematic? Those dictators from Venezuela, Venezuela or whatever, just do what they want. They don't give a shit, Mariana Zimmer, 35, told the Augmented Eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot, though. If I, if I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing? when you can just make them from scratch to match your every needs. More as we investigate. I'm pretty sure Kanye Vania went through demilitarization before. Update 2 for the Lilla messages. I thought we already read update 2. This is update... Oh, update... It was the original story, then update 1, then update 2. Okay. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering... No apostrophe. We, still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lilim? Either way, some reports indicate that Lilim behavior has been rather unusual as of late, although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget that something happened... That something similar happened five years ago when Lilim ad advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it will it will it happen again time will tell all right and there's nothing new on uh, danger you yeah it doesn't look like it okay spooky a bit yeah hmm. all right so we we're cycling our saves now we're on day 13 all right so that's it just go to work Games like this are weird when you think about the room customization through buying a ton of shit. Like, before you insert yourself into the brain of the main character, they just own nothing. No, no, no. Every, at the end of every month, to make rent, she scrambles and sells all of her shit for cheap. It's gonna happen. It makes sense. Go to work. Sunday, December 25th. Merry Christmas. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your are in your uniforms too. While I can't really show up in casual clothing, I'm being monitored. And also, this is my only sprite. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Hey, Alma. Ah, Alma's here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Valhalla. Wait. Ah ha 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 Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what it is. What is. Shut up, it's become a reflex. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Rib sweaters get a free pass. Why? Silly question, never mind. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. What? Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside, press a button, and watch as it warms the food up like a microwave. Why don't we just have a microwave? It's an infomercial bauble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. Sounds dangerous. One wrong move and we'll be out of food for the night. Yeah. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you've bought infomercial stuff, too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Is it? Well, dynamic entry. Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? Sigh. Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Back. Hey, Jamie's here. Oh, uh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. 
See, that's how you greet people. You shut it. I'll go help Al. You ma. I'll go help Sweater Pups. Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. All right, we're all here, so we can start. Yo, Anchorage, Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly or burn that bitch. So how long? 15 minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. So in the future, microwaves suck. All right, we need to kill some time then. Hmm. All right, let's play truth or dare. Or spin the bottle. What? I'll pass. Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as that mutt stays away from me. That'll make the time pass faster. I'll pat. You'll play. Uh-oh. Alright then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We'll go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just best girl. We just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That's sad. Jill, yes? You start. Pick someone. Oh, um... Let's see. Click on the porch of the person you want to pick. Hmm, Alma. Let's go with truth. God damn it. What's the most uncomfortable thing that has happened to those arms of yours? Uncomfortable? They get stuck a lot on clothes and fibers. Sometimes the joints get jammed with cloth. Just how much of those arms are mechanical anyway? Less than you think. The only things are I truly lost for my hands. The arm muscles are still mine, albeit with some enhancements. And my skin doesn't grow on them. They're covered by, by the plates. It's more an enhancement than a replacement, really. Huh. Well then. Hey boss. Me? Truth or dare? Dare me, I dare you. Hmm. Use an Arg Argentine backbreaker on Nick. Surely. Nick. Who the hell's Nick? Wah. I give, I give. Only after you answer this. What? Does the name Joseph Valentine ring any bells? I know of a Joseph Shine, but not Valentine. Joseph Shine. All right then. I guess it's my turn. Um. Hey Chief, can you drop me? Oh right. Was that it? Was that the dare? Hey, Jill, truth or dare? I'll pick dare. Oh, we don't get to choose? Pet the dog. Yeah, whatever. Come here, mutt. Yes, come on, pet me harder. Is that all you've got? Ah, fuck you. I wonder how long until the food is done. The film portrait. Oh, look, we're going Alma again. All right, then, Alma. I'll pick truth. What's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you? Wait, wait, dude, wait, it's the same thing. Well, there was a time I got mugged on the street, so... Oh, wait, hold on, what? Oh, uncomfortable! Now it's embarrassing, okay. I kind of threw my hand at the thief to knock him out. Threw? I think it's what you usually call a rocket punch. So you didn't throw it as much as it propelled itself toward the thief. Yep. And how is that embarrassing? It was just so cartoony, it's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit impractical too, the hand had a, has a startup time after reattachment. Yes, but why add such a function? Why wouldn't you add such a function? Well, because... Boss, don't tell your arm could... Don't... Don't tell your arm can also. This hand of mine is awesome. My turn then. I'll pick Lorenzo. Gillian. I know what I said. Casemiro. Truth or dare? Um, truth. How do you manage to keep that stubble of yours at the same length all the time? How do I, eh? I mean, no matter when I come here, whether it's at 3 a.m. on a weekday or in the afternoon or Sunday, you always have the same three-day beard. It never gets any longer, but you also never shave. How the hell do you do that? Well, that's a good question, really. It's glued on. Now I think about it. Uh, I do shave, but I use an electric razor and set it quite low, so you're not saying something, but whatever. A anyways, eh, you're not playing the game! You're not playing the game! Um, let's see. Hey, dog. Dare, dare. Then play dead. Ugh. This is the worst game of Truth or Dare ever. How is this the part of the game where it's not horny? What the, there's so much time left. There's not much time left. I want you to know. I always thought you were a fuckboy. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty funny. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Hey, Jay, I dare you to bury me. Okay. I was joking, joking. Don't bury me for reals. I'm alive. I'm getting hungry. Oh, it's Alma again. Okay, Alma, truth or dare? Mm, da yes, dare. All right. Then I dare you to call Gil by his real name. Gillian. So you can actually do it. Of course I can, but messing with Dilbert is more fun. Well then, Dorothy, truth or dare? Oh, yeah, Dorothy's here. I'll pick truth. Do you have any dreams you'd want to eventually fulfill? No. Well, this might sound silly, but I want to work with kids. Oh? I have a friend that works in an orphanage. I help her from time to time. And I find it so much fun to work with kids. I can't explain why. 
If I had to pick another job or think of something I want to eventually try, that would be it. Teacher, nurse, pediatrician, something like that. That wasn't an answer I expected. Me neither. What are you implying? Okay, hey John, pick. Uh, dare. I dare you to say something nice about all of us playing. Sigh, well. You are a pretty cheer cheerful girl, Dorothy. Of course I am. Chief, well, I pretty much owe you everything for giving me my life any semblance of order. Of course you do. Alma, you can be a really caring person. Can be. And Jill, you're a pretty smart girl. I wonder if that's true. So is nobody going to say anything nice about him in return? What about the dog? What is there to say? He's one of the nicest and most responsible guys I've met. The kind that gets you talking through an expression of sincere interest. The kind of guy that will go the extra mile even when asked not to. You could always say that more frequently, you know? A bell? Food's ready. Finally. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Jill. Did you pee in the sink today? I didn't- I haven't even peed in the sink this month! It's not like I- I'm- okay. The sink is never a choice. It's a solution, alright? It's like, full house. Alright? So last month- I don't know if I did it last month. I don't keep track. I don't- maybe not even last month. This month, it's December 1st, Giggle. Uh, it's still November here, isn't it? Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Hey, Al. I mean, hello. When was the last time you cleaned your phone? I'm a bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know, I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically, we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. Oh, already? I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has, has helped keep my mind off things for a while. Sigh. Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Katyusha or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of, one of you going to war. I guess... Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to I gotta go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance and spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back. Uh What happened to the moon? Chapter 3, Dulce. Dulce. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure your account has a, ne has a necessary 10,000 or you'll be evicted. Well, we're fucked. Um, <laughs> so fucked. Jill brought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. What? What did? What did you buy? You spent money without us. What did you do? You've been found using. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Shut up. Uh oh. Okay, I don't think, unless we get a Christmas present from someone, I don't think we're going to be able to pay rent. Why did you get the nano camo on your walls instead of getting money for rent? What are you doing? <laughs> 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 
Model Warrior uh, returns to TV. Anyone watching it? I don't even have a TV. So useless. Julianne is old and busted. I heard you talking shit about my waifu like I wouldn't find out. Is it going to be censored? I don't think so. The show was rather tame as far as I know. I'm going to marry Julianne. There it is. Oh man, I remember watching this show back when I was like 10. I think I discovered porn thanks to it. You will never discover Rule 34 for the first time again. Why keep trying? Never seen this show before. Is it any good or is it just a meme? It's a meme show. There's nothing outstanding. What about the sequels? Are those going to be broadcasted as well? The sequels are shit. Yep, it's true. Yep, right, it's true, yep. Street race at the Motor City District leaves two dead. The Motor City District... Oh, I didn't... I didn't... Um, sorry, one second. Is your lip trembling? No. no. Aww. The Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races it sees each week and the dozens of injured drivers it leaves every year. This time, it has been reported that two people died during a race hosted at the Gate Highway, otherwise known as Death Lane. The Transit Police is currently investigating the deaths as well as the underground world of illegal street racing. We have several suspects in regards to who is running this underworld, but nothing concrete as of yet. Chief of the Transit Police Department, Jay Esposito, told the Augmented Eye the death of these two youngsters will be... The will be the last however that's a promise what how on earth are you what i've heard that i heard there's a defamation campaign against the district though you wouldn't you won't believe what happens in this cartoon you won't believe cartoons are not for children they're still largely colorful, but but the themes they touch have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on air today has dark themes. It's come to the point where innocent animated characters are, are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now. But enter Touch Fluffy Tale, a new show that aims to challenge the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure adult references, no stupid deep plots, just fun with numbers and fluffy tales, said a TFT producer who asked to remain anonymous to avoid internet backlash. I don't want death threats for making a cartoon for actual kids. For stop, I rescued you. I want to touch your tail if I want to. All right. Glitch City Olympics return next year. For the 10th consecutive year, the GC Olympics returns to the embleta, em, emblematic, uh, sorry, I said that wrong, uh, Super Silver Thunderdome, this time for a representative from the elusive country of Kanye Vania. Wow, they brought this up and now it's just all over the place. Prime Minister Quincy, who is in charge of the committee, told the augmented eye that it wasn't easy getting in touch with Kanji and that we have to abide by some of his religious rules in order to see some of their best competitors come to the country. Kanye Vania's main religion, Kanyeism, prohibits the existence of nanomachines inside the body, and as such, competitors from said country had to perform special treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, but it will do the trick. I'm guessing tacky bodysuits weren't practical for sports. Yawn, good evening. Hey Jill, Gil is in the back sorting an ingredient shipment and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay, bye. What? Wait, the dog what? Okay, first order, pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. 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 No, let's, let's, uh, let's change some songs. Uh, where do I go from here? Neo Avatar. The original Snowfall. And Dawn Approaches. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Uh, who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no will. Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up! Who? Me or Will? Ugh. You go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you, stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. The fuck just happened? Well, aren't we spirited today? Well, it is a bar. Welcome to Valhalla. Virgilio? Why, do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know? 
so it's all an act then. Wasn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Uh, really, I want a bleeding Jane. All right. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All blended. A bleeding Jane. Haha, <laughs> you actually did it, you idiot. Yes, this is just the thing. So tired of so tired of putting on an act. Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? There's a word that's there's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. True. I mean, you might be right if you were talking if I were if I were talking about hiding myself, but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I huh. Well, congrats, no offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Haha, <laughs> this is part of the act right now. I'm fooling you again, thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Something spicy. Spice tea! Spice tea! Spice tea! Spice tea! Spice tea! Here. Not spicy. Whoa! You didn't specify the amount of spiciness that you wanted! I hate it when things aren't spicy enough. It burns the tongue a bit, though. Not the same thing. So tell me, why is, why is Steampunk Museum? I've always liked that. I've always liked the steampunk aesthetic, and that whole art movement is fascinating. It's always interesting to see how certain current currents mirror certain cultures. And in this case, how steampunk takes from Victorian culture. Non-Victorian examples are too few and far between. Interesting. I also needed a job, and the director just so happened to be a friend of mine. Of course. Now I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh? Again? Again? In my time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator? I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm... I'm sort of criminal though? Yeah, a little bit. Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Alright, oh, apparently the, the, the this is bitter. Here you go, spiced tea. Alright, bitter. Alright, what's the most expensive bitter? Grizzly Temple? It's gotta be Grizzly Temple. Gotta be. Sunshine Cloud? Grizzly Temple, Grizzly Temple. Alright. Here, this works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it, it's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day, what about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's just something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Maybe you're in a time loop. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Hmm. The transitions between the characters lately have been pretty, uh, routine. Just bye, hello, bye, hello. Hmm, okay. And here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. Okay.
Here. Oh, you got it right. So what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Merry Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a Festivus kind of guy. <laughs> Alright, so it's on purpose? Alright. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Merry Christmas. And you know, cheapskate, if you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just a season. A season of uh, consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Always was, bud. Hol holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came that uh, Turbo Male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo Male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. <laughs> Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redman family. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went went by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? Nope, I don't. For the rest of us. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind, the kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerks who only eat, eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. The fuck is Nuke? I see. Anything else I can get you? Get me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. Oh, you got it right. You know what? You just get a normal one. Here. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of White Knight stopped, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor, I haven't gotten much on that on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cam, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it's become even more of a mystery now. I wonder if, if Say, ha Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, I got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd silly rumor here and there, like the vending machine's tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Uh-oh. Oh no, yeek! Or that the writer of The Last Rain in the world is actually living here as a brain in a jar. But those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold that one, that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. It's almost Happy New Year. Please come again. Okay, then. Um, Bo... No, wait. She's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know if someone comes in. Things are pretty quiet outside. Jill! Oh, you're back. I'm really surprised that Donovan never came back. Maybe he still will? He hasn't been here for a while. Ah, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. I didn't get shit. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. And a beer. You think I would have learned beer by now? Here, thanks. So, how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out, my appetite is coming back. I hadn't realized just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I, I actually felt like I achieved a victory, like like I got a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, it'll st I'll start bar 
tender training in January too. Huh, really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, like a new liver, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. A bit of advice, don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut uh, in pay and tips. I was going to go for that one, but I backed down a bit in the, at the, the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when the BTC found me an apartment, and instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate company. So hold on. So we, the job that we have is actually perfectly tailored to the rent that we pay, and we're still barely making it? Yeah, that absolutely tracks. Wow, that's evil. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. But in this city, R Realty Nua holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. I mean, yeah, if you build new houses and the houses already there are just going to go down in value and you can't do that, the entire Canadian economy will collapse. Nah, pe people will just be homeless, Lama. Yo, they became a big, a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality... Uh, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they're all expansions of their already established ones. You seem to know a lot about it. Now nah, I've just read a lot about it over time especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. You have a landlord? I think it's all par for the course uh, for real estate companies really. But it's, but it's true that when you hear a name so much you expect something, I don't know, different. But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Sugar rush. Same here in Australia. Yeah, it's a, it's a big problem, isn't it? Yep. How is it in Europe? Uh, let's give her a double. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Four, two, sugar rush. All right. Uh, all mixed. Here you go. Yay! Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked. I was tired. I was a total mess. I was unconscious. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention, you helped me cool down, and your boss saved me. And I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Much appreciated. Thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. I'm better now. Thanks a lot. Glad to hear it. Sorry, glad to hear it. It was weird to see you like that. It always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just naturally cool. What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but it's like spice, spiced and spicy. Nah, I don't try to put up that act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. People say the same thing about me. Such, such, such a cool, uh, cool streamer. Disappointed. Surprised, actually. What led uh, me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Say, let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Let's get a bubbly drink. Type bubbly. No. Bubbly is a flavor? Really? Uh, Cobalt Velvet, I think, is the most is, is the, the big one, right? Ooh, Fringe Weaver. No, let's go, let's go Cobalt. Cobalt. Thanks. Hey Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Ah, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive. I'm here. I've avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. You just pick up strays, huh? I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like, like, thank you. Don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice please. Right. Are you alright? Did you did you seek help? I know a couple of people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple times, but he says I'm okay. 
It, I just... Something overcame me, but you intervened, and I, I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. Sniff. I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that at least. Don't worry. Just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use it as best as you can. I will. Are you the one that jumped off the roof and you caught her in midair? No, because they found they found her unconscious body on the floor, right? Didn't they find her? You only just noticed? I haven't even been thinking about her. Who gives a shit about her? Did boss catch her, or did or did he just did she just find the uh, find her? Hmm. Rude. I'm sorry. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill, and thank you again. Please come again. So a couple weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicide. Oh, Suicidal girl catching midair. Would you know something about that, boss? Maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? That voice. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just want, want to wait in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Earth to Joe. I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know? Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Calm down. Don't fall for her taunts. How did she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne N Natalie Stingray, or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that. Is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't escape that this world could be weirder than you think. This- okay, what the fuck is going on? This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. And just because only you experience something doesn't mean it's a liar that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me. Shit. That's good. I want- I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set off, that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was going to buy some curry with the money I had, I had to put up for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. Uh, I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Ah, uh, boss, what happens? Meeting cut short. At least I drank the Hassi has, 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 the bottles. Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. So they really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Okay, so that's what the, uh, the yeek person saw? Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should, they should call you out. Did she come with the liver? But it's, but they can't bring themselves to do it because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats after all. It's uncannily right, not all that wrong, and they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. Are you okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Crap, I, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. I, um, I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll, I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... whatever. Alright, what's going on? Which one was the mistake? Was it the tea? I think it was the tea. Here's something in case you felt lonely today. Jill wanted just watched Night of the ID Snatchers. Buying a poster of it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Okay, well I guess, I guess that's what we're doing.
There are cats in heat outside. I'd have blue balls if I still had any. Poor four. Poor four. Poor four four. Uh, your your yeah, this one right? <clears throat> it's finally here. I can't believe I'm alive for this day. Thank you, based god. All boards report in. What other boards, you idiot? Nice, more stupid mo blobs. YY gets new season, but the actual best YY is still up in the air. My internet service gets cut off tomorrow because I can't afford it anymore. Wake me up. Get a job, you stupid neat. Oh god, here we go. Prepare hot cocoa, cocoa. sit in comfy couch, put on favorite mega Christmas sweater, see snow falling outside, turn on the heater, get my blanket, watch glorious yee yee, and fall asleep when it ends. I am the comfy. I wish I was as comfy. Have work tomorrow. Enjoy the Yurus for me, danger you. So comfy. Taylor the brain. To oh, I didn't read the. Oh, God damn it. Sounds cute for nerds, maybe. Taylor the brain tired of name change requests. A couple weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Sola Anima project. One of the highlights from the interview that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a straight comment about how many people asked Taylor to change their name to Brian on a regular basis. <laughs> I know people try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline. I absolutely would. Taylor told the AE team, I like the name Taylor, and there's nothing wrong with, with Brian. I just won't be a part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. Taylor is currently looking at their chances at becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Taylor. Taylor was a good character. Parliament discusses anime influence. What? During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates discussed the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but, but, but filth. It's trash! A representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting, If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I'd choke them with my own enhanced hands. Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. We don't blame you. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market. Yamake, a producer, told the Augmented Eye during a phone interview i do agree that anime is trash but i'll save it but i'll save the genre you can trust me <laughs> thank you lily ah uh, yes important topics and all Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. The members of one of the largest biker gangs in the Motor City sector were arrested after the group's leader and her entourage were found at the site of, the, of a protest last Friday. The leader, commonly known as, in the streets as Christine Love, declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend pro protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They know they can't take us down in the, in the streets, so they use protesters as a shield and we had no option but to surrender, Love told AE during a phone conversation. Conversation. They're currently de detained and waiting for trial. The formal charges are unknown so far. Uh, four, isn't she a game developer? She's many things. Okay. All right, chat. Um, so we're at three hours and 50 minutes, and we're meant to go for five hours, but every stream of this so far we've gone over. Um, so my question to you is, if we play more today and we do fan art tomorrow, is there going to be mo more than... If we do one more day, let's say we do one more day, um... Is there going to be enough to fill like two hours tomorrow or would it be better to cut this a little early do fan art tomorrow and then have a, a decent amount of content to go through tomorrow for tomorrow's stream i'm so amazed how many force crossover things there are in this game especially the yeek thing that the game wasn't out for ages yet but they basically said it was amazing and got super popular and it turned out to be a major flop <laughs> You have a fair bit of game left, says Annie for Prez. You are very close to finishing, says Cakewalk, Cakewalking Remastered. The duality of chat. You might need another stream. I made another stream after tomorrow? You're on 2712, you can figure it out yourself. Yeah, but I I'm assuming that it ends with the new year, but it might not. I haven't played this game. It's a myth. We're gonna do fan art tomorrow, which is gonna take about an hour, and then we'll have three to four hours to finish the game tomorrow. Is that is that enough time? Uh, 
because I don't want to go longer today, get roped into a long day, go for four and a half hours, and then come back and do fan art tomorrow, and then be done in an hour. I'd rather have a, a slightly earlier stream today, and then a full stream tomorrow, than a slightly longer stream today, and like half a stream tomorrow. Do you understand? All right, let's end. Let's end here then. I think that's probably probably for the best. Do you want to risk a six-hour stream tomorrow, though? Um, not really, but uh, I'm tired, <laughs> and I want to do video editing. You have five minutes of gameplay left. There's there's no way that there is five minutes of gameplay left. Like like they back ended all the gameplay. There's no way that they lumped it all at the end. I saved it, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right. All right. That's it for me, everybody. Then I'll see you tomorrow, chat. We will finish tomorrow. And then we're gone. We're gone for a while. Oh. Hey, I was watching the Resident Evil 8 gameplay and you said, paraphrasing, I play in easy mode because Elden Ring comments teach me that I have to use every tool and going to the menu and selecting easy is one of them. Lol, could you explain the kind of comments you read to say that? <laughs> uh, there is a vocal minority that absolutely hate my Elden Ring video and it's really annoying. <laughs> It's really annoying. Like they don't, they don't understand. And and I think that they're they're right to like the game that they like it, but they like the new kind of boss design that that um that that From Software brought to Elden Ring, and and that's great. I'm happy for them, but I don't like it. And basically, it's just a bunch of people trying to convince me. No, you do like it. And I'm like motherfucker. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not gonna like it. I'm never gonna like it. You know, like, uh, it's I I don't I don't like. AI manipulation in order to get through fights and being like, well, I know if I do this, then the boss is going to do that, and I could just account for that. It's like, do you know that enemy in Dark Souls 2 that has the um, the turtle shell, and if you go if you go behind them, um, they will do the attack that like lands on their on their on their back trying to crush you. It's like the boss design in Elden Ring is like that on steroids, and like, great, you like it. I don't. I, I would just rather have a a normal fucking fight that I can I can fight with and feel like I have a back and forth with the boss and then I'm doing my best to respond to everything um, with more um, with more defensive options to, to do, um, which is what Liza P did uh, instead of this. That's what I don't like. So, eh. Really? I thought only speedrunners care about the AI manipulation? Well, that's the thing, is that the defense force for Elden Ring can barely admit any flaws that they've had to go to speedrunners for their for their haven to, to support that the game isn't actually that bad. And I'm sure that it is fun for speedrunners, and it can be fun like a puzzle thing to go through that, but, oh man, like, I don't... I don't like it, and I'm, I'm happy that you do, I really am. But it's just kind of annoying. First time being here. We're about to end. Sorry, Kerbo. People use wikis a lot more than they will admit. It even applies to Valhalla and drink mixing. I think I did see a comment like that that said something like, um, uh, there was, I don't want to say the move. I don't know why I'm afraid of spoilers, but it was, it's some, some of, there was a move and it's like, well, if you couldn't do it, why didn't you just look it up and then you could do it? It's like, motherfucker, I don't want to. I want to figure it out myself. That's, that's how I like to play games. And, and maybe this is a boomer take now that I'm not, I'm not going and, and finding, like looking at community strats as, as the community solved the puzzle. It's like, no, it's.
When 17 puzzles showed up, I looked up all of Virgilio's drinks because fuck that. And yet you retract, you deducted me inches for, for double checking Brantini even though I got it right. Wow. Wow. Can we get an update on Liza P vid? I have 10 minutes left to make of it, which I might be able to get done today. Maybe. Depends on how it goes. Um, but then I also have to do final checks, final rendering, update the subtitles, upload it to YouTube, get it done, everything, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know. But, but yeah, uh, it also depends on how tired I am, how how the the, the kids will be uh, tonight. Um, so then, ten, no, ten, 10 minutes of video to make. I have 10 minutes of audio left in, in the project that do not have video examples matched to them that I need to go through. It might, it might be a little bit above 10 minutes, but yeah. I also dislike open worlds because it requires reused content and ER's reused content was annoying. This brain rot that every game has to take 500 hours, man. I really, I like, I like that though. I do agree that it, some of the content wasn't reused all that well. Um, but I tried to play Elden Ring again um, for the Lies of P video because I wanted some footage of some, um, some things and I decided I wasn't going to use it anyway. And I don't know. That was the first time I played Elden Ring again since making the video back when the game came out. And I just, I got out in, into the area after the tutorial, looked around and just felt this overwhelming sense of like, oh my God. Yeah, I just didn't want to play it. I just, this, oh, where am I going to go? I need to do like this early level tax of leveling up to get my build going. And I'm like, okay, what dungeon has some good thing again? That's kind of a waste of time. That's a waste of time. Oh, there's down there. It just, it was just kind of, all the magic was gone. And I thought maybe I would be wrong when I played it again a while later. I'd be like, oh, here we go. But it wasn't. No, I was I was actually really a lot of fatigue. So I think it's like the, the first playthrough is like e even more true than I said in the video. It's it, That's the magical one, man. Like, yeah. It also doesn't help that the um, the tree sentinel is a, is a load of horse piss. Oh, fucking hell. The hitbox on a shield slam attack is like... <laughs> That's the first real boss. It's like here it is. And it's like oh fucking hell. I do like that he's one of the only, or is he the only boss in the game that if you do um, uh, a spell on, he will reflect it back to you. So it can't be like easy mode with with spells. Um, but man, that fight sucks. I've only played Elden Ring of Randomizers, which has been fun. Oh, I'd like to do that. That sounds like it might be fun. ER is an amazing first experience, so I want to do it again. Yeah. I don't know. Another comment that I get um, was for stuff like the, the attacks in the game being, um, being unreactable if you're in melee. And I don't know if they've updated the game and they changed some of this thing. It's from software, so I doubt it. Um, but there's one on there's an attack on Godric when he he raises his his axe. And if you are within melee range when he does it, like I timed it, I timed it frame by frame. I even had a speedrunner contact me and we actually spoke about this fight on Discord together in DMs for for a while. And it was one of the most um, pleasant conversations I've ever had with someone disagreeing with me. I don't know if they're a part of the community or if they just came in to talk to me or whatever, but it was a really great conversation. Um, that, that is the only time that someone has argued with me in good faith that they actually corrected a mistake I made that was in my favor of the arguments. Um, I said that I, I basically, I said, I, I went through it and I said, look, when, if you're in melee range with him, by the time you realize when you know he's doing this move, it's like 12 frames before you take damage, which is just so utterly fast like there's there's no way you can you can reasonably react to this um it's hard to tell when they're starting it though but it's about it's about 12 frames or something and and the speedrunner said to me um actually you're not accounting for um you lose a frame or two from the the button prompt um reaction updating when you use the gamepad or something was, i can't remember exactly what it was but it's actually a little faster than that even though they were disagreeing with me and i was like holy shit this person is actually here for a real conversation instead of just being fuck you you're wrong you know um and i've seen people say you know that 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 move is so easy to to dodge what the fuck are you talking about and i'm and i i don't understand i don't understand like are you are what did they change it or how how are you reliably dodging this move that he can do whenever he wants that comes out that fast 
and that makes me think people aren't understanding the point. They're just avoiding the um, the uh, the flow chart that the boss can get into that state instead, or they are just fucking like um, just dodging preemptively away. You know, it's it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. The roll on button really slack from having to roll around the same, but something like that, yeah. It being on it being on release instead of instead of press, I think. I think people hated that in Fury too, didn't they? Because you can charge the dodge. Elden Ring really needed a Sekiro style deflect IMO. The player defense is way too limited for the bosses. I I, I completely agree. That's why I love Lies of Peace so much. I completely agree. But apparently this is a, a shit take. Sorry. Just get good. Learn, uh, isn't it something like, um, isn't it something, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I haven't thought about Elden Ring in a while, and I'm going off of, like, like, just YouTube comments and the occasional DM I get about this, and also, when I still was checking Twitter, sometimes I would get the, uh, occasional Twitter warrior coming at me saying, you know, you're, you're, um, slur word stupid for, for this fucking thing, um, and it was something like, Margit has an attack that, uh, has, has a dagger swipe, right? And the response to criticism of that is just stay behind him and never be in a position that he can do that attack, Lamayo. And I'm like, isn't that just completely missing the fucking point of how troublesome that attack is? What do you mean? What do you mean just never let him use it? What? How is how is that a good response to a fucking move? What? You're putting moves in the game that it's just like, yeah, just don't let him do it, Lamayo. What? Like, what, what do you mean? ER to visible, visible posture bar would be much easier? Yeah, maybe. But I think that knocking them down and getting the fight faster is, again, just not addressing the problem. Because if the fight is well designed, it shouldn't matter how quickly you beat it or that you're knocking them down. You should be able to just stand to the boss and just, like, avoid all of their moves if it was fair for, for an hour, you know, if you got good enough, you know? Like, I don't know. If your Liza P video is just sitting on Elden Ring, I would be elated. I love ER, but it has so many problems. Uh, it's not, sorry. It's it's not that. But that's a strategy too. No well, it's a, sure, it is a strategy. And if you find that fun, that's great. But to me, there's a problem with that move. If the answer is just never stand in front of him and then he will never do it. Okay. First of all, that is a lot of work to figure that out. A lot of work that is beyond most people that play the game that's when you're getting into speedrunner territory of learning okay the boss will do this move in this position after this move and he always does it with this follow that that is so much work that the game is not teaching you how to do either the game doesn't show up with a fucking like mega man mega man these moves the bosses will do these moves in a certain order and if you're in front of the boss he's gonna do the slice right that you can't dodge it like it doesn't do this shit you know what i mean like it's like it's that's already a problem but the other problem is that just stay behind the boss doesn't seem like a fucking like a good answer to me do you still play genshin no i don't know i tried to play genshin again when france came out and um i met the teddy bear robot on the on the ferry on the way in and i just turned the game off and i haven't played again since Talking about this Lords of the Fallen has the best implementation of this combat system. Uh, super underrated game. Really? Better than Liza P? I, was, I watched someone play a little bit of it and it looked fucking floaty as hell to me. Why do you hate every game? It's just part of my DNA. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do about Elden Ring. I don't know. Like, if if I want to be, if I want to be mature about it, I should play Elden Ring, learn these strategies, beat those bosses hitless with the slowest weapon and also a fast weapon, and then make a video responding to that sort of thing, and. 
address it and then be like, look, but I still don't like it because I know I'm not going to like it or find out in the process. Hey, I actually was wrong and I do like it, but I don't think that's going to happen because I've already got a little taste of that and I don't like it. And I've also seen what the alternative is and the alternative is Liza P and Liza P is just so much better than Elden Ring in terms of boss design. Holy fuck. It's just, it's not even close. Um, Sekiro is still better though. Um, But on the other hand, I could be immature and just say no you. <laughs> or, but no, really, the better one would be just not, don't make videos on FromSoft games anymore because it's just not fucking worth it, man. It's just not worth it. I'm halfway through through or so Liza P and I don't know what defensive options you're talking about other than parry, block, and dodge, which is normal in other games. What defensive options are you talking about? Um, you can't be serious <laughs> wait what are you talking about you, like the the parry the block and system in liza p works completely differently than it does in uh in souls games what are you talking about it's like Sekiro system FromSoft is a new old blizzard at this point, no criticism is valid. Weren't we meant to end? And now we're, we're, we keep talking, man. Please keep making FromSoft videos. Your Elden Ring video made me, made me feel like I was sane. Uh, I felt seen for the first time since the game came out, Lamayo. Well, I'm glad the video did that for you, but... It can be annoying. You mean because of the stagger bar and the damage no one blocking? Not just that, but how you can chain perfect blocks together. And it it makes, it gives you two very highly uh, viable ways to, def to the response moves instead of one, which is just dodging. Now you can block in um, Dark Souls games, but that's easy mode and it's so easy mode that it's pretty much brain dead once you get, um, get decent at it, that it no longer becomes um, uh, viable actually uh, what's I can tell you the exact phrase I use one second I can pull up the script <clears throat> getting the obvious one way out of, out of <laughs> getting the obvious one out of the way first, elevating the block function to have a much tighter and higher risk versus reward timing test is fantastic. These types of games often struggle with having enough ways to respond to enemy attacks. While blocking being the training wheels that you eventually take off for dodging can initially be thrilling, soon you're pressing one button all the time. In Lies of P, you can still hold block for easy damage mitigation, but with practice, this can be timed to rival the effectiveness of iframe dodging and, in many cases, surpasses it. There's an ad lib uh, in the script that I didn't say there. Your ER video has 80k likes and 8k dislikes. Most of the people actually agree with you, at least in some parts. It's not like everyone just hates it universally and you won't ever convince everyone. Just saying that tryhard defenders are vocal minority. Yeah, but that's, I don't like saying that shit, man, because it feels like I'm dismissing criticism. And also if you sort by new, it's just nonstop, where is Witcher 3, where is Witcher 3, where is Witcher 3, you're an idiot for this video, I fucking hate you. This other video blew the fuck out of the water or whatever, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Where is Witcher 3, where is Witcher 3? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I did the whole Whole game with a slow ass weapon and I had just fine and then there's a reply to it being like yeah but did you do a hit list though because that's the whole point and then, then they, they respond with what do you mean that wasn't part of the deal proving that they didn't even watch the video it's just really really frustrating and then after that where is Witcher 3 where is Witcher 3 you know who gives a fuck about YouTube comments I do I'm a YouTuber how am I supposed to get feedback and if I'm doing a good job or not in, in, I, I'm not from soft. I respond to criticism. I want to know, did I do a good job? Did I not do a good job? What parts of this video resonating with people? You know? Like... It's one of the hardest parts of the job, actually, is, is trying to figure out what is actual good feedback. And a lot of feedback you, you're going to have is going to be stuff that's hard to hear because it's going to be criticism. And it's I, I'm the kind of person that welcomes criticism even, and sometimes it's hard to hear because it's like, ah, oh, shit, you know, this person's being a bit 
um, a bit angry about it, but you know what? They might have a point. Just because they're being kind of kind of a shitter doesn't mean they're they're wrong, you know? So it's like, okay, fuck, okay, right, what can I learn from this? I want to do better. I always want to improve. But then other times you're reading it and it's like, okay, is this person, does this person have a, a point or are they still permanently butthurt about what happened with Mario Odyssey all those years ago? And they're just thinking and they're just found some other comment and they're just honing in on something and they just want to make me feel like shit. You know what I mean? It's, it's really difficult. I mean, can you blame people for wanting the Witcher 3 video? No, I was I was making a <laughs> See, are you doing it right now? I was making a joke. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's fine. <sighs> what do you think about the final boss of Lies upon replaying the game? I recall people calling it unfair when the first game released. Which one? Which final boss? The secret final boss or the real final boss? Uh, I thought uh, they nerfed it, didn't they? Um, I thought it was fine. Um, I, I liked the game the more I played it. I talk about that in the script as well. Just joking about the ER thing earlier. Sorry if it didn't come across as such. That's fine. I really love watching you enjoy Lies of P so much. So during the stream, so I'm looking forward to your video. I hope it. I hope it's good. I like how it's coming together so far. I remember watching people talk about theory of movement and how you were severely lacking in understanding of the game's genre conventions and styles when it came to Rabbi Ribby. And I was like, do you really need to read theory to understand games like this? And I think it was eye-opening experience once in all to expect. I and, and that's also did people were people saying that? I thought it did pretty well in Rabbi Ribby. Really? Hmm. Maybe I didn't. Liza P versus Sekiro. Sekiro is better. But Liza P is it's pretty close, man. It's pretty close. What are your thoughts on media as escapism? I think it's detrimental to work to the work and author to just take it in as base level entertainment instead of trying to learn and understand what the author is trying to convey or applying to, to that to life or a routine. If the media is good, just curious what you think. Uh, I think it's kind of out of the scope of the conversation we're talking about right now, sorry, but um, I think that it has its place. Yeah, escapism is, is, is good. Some people really value art being able to take them away from their lives for a moment, you know? That, that, that blind melon song, it rips my life away, but it's a great escape. Uh, some, some people need that, you know? And for them, it's uh, a coping mechanism. So I think it has its place for sure, but... Uh, uh, I, I, I don't think you need to engage with art on that level, man. I, 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 that might be a normie take. I do try to engage with, with stuff on a higher level than that, sure. But I don't think you have to. I think you can live your life just, just enjoying art in surface level ways. I don't think you have to do it. But it can be rewarding. It's, um... Uh, it's a flawed analogy, but it's one that came to me. It's it's kind of like enjoying music and then learning how to play an instrument. Like you don't have to do that. Or if you know how to play an instrument, it's it's the difference of between composing and just playing someone else's music and learning how to do it. You know, you don't you don't have to dive as deep as you possibly can into things. You can just you can just you know stay you can just stay in the shallow end, and that's fine. You don't have to go somewhere else. Somewhere else. They said you were doing well considering, but still highly lacking understanding. Sorry for the comment being sparse. This is limited to people who were discussing the conventions of the genre of the genre design. What was it? Hmm, okay. How do you pronounce hors d'oeuvres? Hard H is in herb or soft H is in herb? Hors d'oeuvres? I don't know actually. Do you say hors d'oeuvres? I read it as hors d'oeuvres, but I don't say that word very often. To digress a bit, when have you listened back to some of the tracks in Alan Wake 2 OST after finishing the game? Dark Ocean summoning lyrics are quite funny. Once more, the ocean's a lake. I, I haven't, no, sorry. That does sound pretty funny. Pretty funny. How can you say Northern Lion not eating lasagna his whole life is unbelievable when you didn't eat rice until your 20s? Hypocritical, don't you think? I'm not, I didn't choose not to eat rice. I was not in charge of what I ate until then. I had a very sheltered upbringing. When it comes to food. Didn't have a sheltered upbringing for other things, but for food, yeah. Makers of Rabbi Ribby released a spiritual successor Tevi yesterday and the art looks significantly better. You seen it? Interested? Oh, I'm interested, but now thanks to Kate's comments, I don't want to stream it because apparently I have to fucking like read several dissertations before I understand the the, the nuance of platformer bullet hells.
It's actually kind of annoying. Oh, the built-in defense that hard games have, huh? Do you know Get Good was a joke? It was a joke. <sighs> don't put this evil on me, motherfucker. I'm not putting evil on you. You're just the messenger. I'm not shooting you. Chat. I just did. Have you played New Game Plus in Liza P? How was it? I did two New Game Plus runs. I beat the game five times. I did my first one on stream. I did second one doing um, almost entirely dodge only. I didn't do any deflections unless I had to. Um, third one I did with uh, the heaviest weapon I could find for most of the playthrough, which was the Holy Sword or whatever that you get um, uh, in the Cathedral. And then I did a new game plus run with the scissor weapon that you get from Redacted. And then I did another new, and then I did new game plus two run with the two dragon sword. So I, I played through the game five times. There are pretty fast runs though. It didn't take, uh, like it didn't take that long. I one shot pretty much every single boss. There were a couple that took me a few tries, but you know, I, I had the game down more or less. How was the heavy weapon run? Pretty good actually. Um, I was I, I let myself dodge as well as parry for that one, whereas the other one was mostly dodging. What's your favorite weapon in Liza P now then? Um, probably the two dragon sword, but it's it's busted, so that seems like a bad take. Uh, maybe. So my favorite weapon overall was probably putting the i talk about this in the video was probably putting the the great sword blade you get at the beginning on the salamander dagger handle that you get early on um and that is just busted it just will care it's not it's not busted in the sense that um it trivializes fights but it's really strong in every area so my mind wants to say busted that was probably my favorite weapon so you know it's a, a good all all rounder pretty fast you can learn the learn the game um so pretty good has a poke but the trident is pretty good. Um, the two dragon sword is is overpowered after you get used to it. But it's really fun. Would you recommend Alan Two if I didn't like the like the first much to start from the story? Yes. For someone for someone is interested and generally considered to be decently skilled at games with a lot of action in them, how do you feel about your chat pushing you to play mostly narrative heavy games? Oh, hey, Sarah. Um. I don't know. I feel like I feel like on stream we have like I have three masters, right? I have the I have the the, the group that wants me to play um, uh, gameplay games and go through that and talk about them, and then we have have the other group that wants me to uh, play the narrative heavy games that are usually weeby, but not always. There's some overlap there, and then there's the third group that just wants me to talk like I am right now on on a blank screen and just riff with chat the whole entire time. And sometimes you know there's some overlap there, sure. Um, sometimes I don't know if I'm doing a good job and if I should have just, just focus on one rather than the other. But if we were to be like focus on gameplay only, then we'd probably get into speedrunning something, right? I don't know. I like the variety though. I like that we switch between them all. I, I, I think I would get bored doing just one. But sometimes we get into a playthrough of something and it takes so long that I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Especially the heavy reading ones. Like, this playthrough has been fine, but if this was a uh, Umineko, we'd be week one of 57, right? You know, it's like, oh my god, so much reading.
Yeah, I like it too, but it's interesting because when you are choosing games, you seem to go immediately for it to an action game. Yeah, because I I want I value gameplay over everything else, right? And I think that most stories in video games are a waste of time. Not always, but uh, there have been some exceptions. But usually, I want something that's more of an action game that's that's uh, comfortable for me. Yeek has everything. Doubt. Doubt. Gameplay heavy seems to be losing the most, huh? Uh, Ozzy9816 has uh, given some bits with a message. If it makes you feel better, I put I put pretty significant, significant weight on your opinions. Oh no, and your videos have helped me realize things I hadn't before about game design and the like. I know you put yourself out there to get angry for entertainment's sake, but don't let it go, get to you too much. Aw, oh, thanks. Usually when I'm angry on stream, it's um, it's being exaggerated a bit. Also, not sure if you saw in dev chat, but my WoW hardcore character died in Stranglethorn Vale because I was dumb. Stranglethorn Vale is pretty a tough, a tough zone, but that's a level 40 zone, isn't it? Congrats on getting there. I've been tempted to try it. Hardcore WoW looks pretty fun. 38? There we go. Would you classify Sekiro as weeb shit? No, it's good. I'll try again because you touched on the uncanny valley effect yesterday. Did I? What is your opinion on why it developed? What? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sorry. Did I talk about the uncanny valley yesterday? I don't remember that, sorry. Did you say I have mixed feelings or blended feelings about this game? Blended for sure. All my opinions are blended. They're, they, they're mixed for so long they become blended. Sometimes there are systems in games you describe in your videos as bad that actually help me enjoy the game more once I understand them, e.g. Dragon's Dogma damage. Oh, so then because you now understand the system you can, you can play around it? Yeah, yeah. I get you. All right, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna check out chat. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? We're over time now. I wanted to just kind of sit and decompress, and this is kind of it though. So we just kept streaming through the decompression, so that's good. Oh, stretch, stretch, oh, stretch. I do hope that the Elden Ring video didn't convince anyone to dislike the game or anything like that, though, because that's that's not the intent. I never want anyone to think, you know what? He's right. This game does suck. The the enjoyment I was having was fake. You know, like uh, that's not it at all. Like if you're if you had a good time, then then I never want to take that away from you ever. I hope that doesn't happen. Anyway, see you later.